Chapter 2976, Sky God Crown Hansen had received many answers from Human King. When he left Blood Legion, he still had a few things that had yet to be cleared up. Just as Human King said, he did not ask Hansen to do anything for him. It seemed as if he was just convincing him not to expose the identity of humans in the universe. Human King also gave him Bloodpool Sutra's final part. He told him that if he was willing to, all he had to do was practice the final part for his blood to turn into blue blood. Although this method was not as pure as passing it through generations, it would still give Hansen blue blood power. The price to pay was that Hansen would lose all the Geno arts he currently had. He would not even be able to make use of beast souls. All he would be able to use was blue blood power. Human King did not force Hansen to do that. It was a decision that had to be made by Han Sr. Hansen asked a few questions regarding Han Jinji. Human King said Han Jinji was not a member of Blood Legion. He did not possess blue blood. Aside from that, he did not say anything else concerning him. On his way back, Hansen kept thinking, Human King told me a lot, but I feel like he was holding back on a lot of important details. He had yet to be given answers to many of the questions he had. Hansen also thought there was a big problem. He just did not know what it was. What is up with Han Jinji? Human King should not be lying about something like this. But why did the people of the seventh team say Han Jinji had blue blood? What was that all about? Hansen was very confused about this little nugget of information. He thought his trip to Blood Legion would enable him to receive answers concerning Han Jinji. Now, it seemed as if it was a pointless venture. He still did not know anything about Han Jinji. Human King may have known something, but it was obvious he did not want to spend much time talking about Han Jinji. Hansen returned to Space Garden. 9000 King had yet to return, but another pair of guests had arrived. The green-haired Growler and Ghana Woman arrived at Space Garden. When Hansen saw them, the green-haired beast did not say anything. It put its head in front of Hansen and quietly groaned. Sorry I offended you. You can take my life, but please save Little Mountain Leader. Get up, Hansen said with a wave of his hand. I am going to save Little Gold Gold, but you guys should know my power is not enough to fight Moment God yet. I require more time to prepare what is necessary. If there is something you need, please tell us, the Ghana woman coldly said. If it can save Little Mountain Leader, we will do anything. If you want to save Little Gold Gold from Moment God Temple, we need more than just us. We require more aid. So I need resources to make my friends stronger. If you guys have deified xenogenic genes, can you give them to me? Hansen thought Empty Mountain must have had a lot of good stuff. Perhaps he was able to obtain some resources from them. Empty Mountain has some deified xenogenic genes, the Ghana woman said. I will give them to you later. They were currently unable to ask anyone else for help. Hansen was the only person they could turn to. At least they knew Hansen truly wanted to save Golden Growler. That dollar really is bad stuff, the green-haired Growler madly said. Little Mountain Leader gave him the first seat on the god list. Yet when Little Mountain Leader was in trouble, he did not show up. Hansen gave a wry smile and thought that Dollar did not show up because he was blown up, but what the green-haired Growler said reminded Hansen that Golden Growler gave Dollar the god list first place. If Dollar still did not show up, it might make him look bad. Although Dollar's race was different from Hansen, and no one expected him to be Hansen, it was still wrong. After sending the green-haired Growler and Ghana Woman away, Hansen thought about matters for a while. He eventually decided to challenge the God Spirit with Dollar's identity. This time, the God Spirit Hansen decided to challenge was not Moment God. It was going to be the Disaster Class No World God. Hansen heard the Demon Lady say that No World God's power could enable him to be immune to time powers for a while. If he was able to get his hands on No World God's God personality armament, it would be a great help for saving Golden Growler. When there was no one around, Hansen turned into Xenogeneic mode and equipped himself with his Dongshin armor. He then wore the Sky God Crown. The Sky God Crown was an Annihilation Class God personality armament. It was two levels higher than the Sky Vine Radish God Lance. It was a God personality armament that was almost as good as Moment God. Hansen had never used the Sky God Crown before because he did not know what power it possessed. It was not like it was high level or automatically useful like the light well lotus beast soul. Although it was a high level beast soul, its power involved healing. In a deathmatch battle, it would not serve much of a purpose. Hansen thought, back then, 
God said the Sky God crown would allow me to enter the Geno Halls freely. Now, the Geno Halls are all on display. Does the Sky God crown have any other uses? After thinking for a while, he had decided to wear the Sky God crown. The moment Hansen put on the Sky God crown, a godlight mist like a rainbow came down. It covered his entire body. From afar, Hansen looked like a godly rainbow mist. Catcha. Hansen saw the universe's cogwheel spin. It was like there was a giant mechanical door opening in front of him. This was like the core area or the god area opening. The door did not open solely for Hans Senator, it was because of the sky god crown. Hansen looked at the space door. He saw a rainbow mist light. Countless substance chains were connected. One was not able to see what it was. After hesitating for a moment, Hansen walked toward the rainbow mist light that was flowing around the door. After his body completely walked through the door, the door closed. It disappeared back into the nether of space. The weird scene was gone too. This is God Temple. Hansen frowned and looked at what was in front of him. It was a jade stone God Temple. Beneath Hansen's feet was a God Temple. He saw Sky Vine Radish God be revived in this temple. He was not wrong about that. This was a God Temple, and he was standing on the altar of the God Temple. Annihilation God Temple opened. Named the God Temple. A voice echoed through the God Temple. A god flag flew toward Hans Sr. What is going on? Did I become a god spirit? Hansen frowned and looked at the empty god flag. The god flag he used to see already had names. This one was empty. There was nothing on the flag. Hansen did not want to be a god spirit. Even if it was an annihilation class god spirit, he did not want that. You are finally here. As Hansen hesitated, the god temple's door opened. A girl walked in. It was Gu Wanner. Upon hearing her tone of voice, Hansen knew that it was not Gu Wanner in that body. It was that guy who called himself God. Chapter 2977 God Spirit's Special Authority Hansen looked at God and said, You got here at just the right time. Why did I become a God Spirit for just wearing this Sky God crown? God laughed and said, You did not become a God Spirit. Because the Sky God crown is here, you temporarily became a God Spirit. If you remove the Sky God crown, none of that will exist. After hearing that, Han took off the Sky God crown and departed the God Temple. When he put the Sky God crown again, he returned to that God Temple. The White God flag appeared in front of him. Is that all the Sky God crown does? Hansen was disappointed. To him, becoming a God spirit did not appear to be particularly useful. God sat down on the God altar's edge and casually asked, Is that still not enough for you? You do not need to do what God spirits do but you get to enjoy the benefits of a god spirit. Many god spirits would like that. Hansen's heart jumped as he quickly asked, What responsibility and benefits do gods have? As long as you wear the sky god crown, if the sky god crown is not broken, you will be like other god spirits, God said. You will have an immortal body inside the god temple. Even if you are killed, you will respawn here in the god temple. Hansen lifted his lips and asked, What does that mean? I do not want to be stuck inside a god temple forever. Of course, it does have meaning. For example, if you are up against a powerful enemy that you cannot beat, you do not need to be afraid of dying when you are in the god temple. You can fight them without fear. God laughed. Hansen shook his head. That does not make sense. If I were killed by my enemy, he would just take my god flag. Then, I would end up dead. That is the power of sky god crown. Even if someone removes your flag, it will just break your sky god crown. You will still respawn, but you will lose the authority of being a god spirit. God pointed at the sky god crown and went on to say, Plus, when you're a god spirit, you have the authority of a god spirit. You can trade with any creature in the universe and gain their lifespan. Hansen had always wondered that. The god spirits were immortal existences, so why did they require the years of others? Based on god's method, they used a lot of effort. They would do anything for another creature's lifespan haunts and did not understand why they did it. To the immortal god spirits, what is the point of extending their lifespan? Hansen pretended to look disdained. About that, you will understand in the future. God did not answer Hansen's question. He laughed and told Hansen, as for the responsibilities of gods, it is quite simple. There is only one task, which is to protect the Geno Hall and forbid it from being invaded by other creatures. Protect the Geno Hall? Hansen asked with an obvious look of confusion. Does the Geno Hall require protection? Let's not talk about other things, 
but that woman inside the Geno Hall is invincible. God shook his head. The goddess you talk about is one of the twelve annihilation class god spirits. Those twelve annihilation class god spirits guard the Geno Hall in sequence. Their responsibility is the same as all the other god spirits, though. There is no difference between them. What about the Geno Hall? Does the Geno Hall have no god spirits? Hansen quickly asked. God laughed but did not answer. When you enter the Geno Hall, you will understand. As long as you have the Sky God crown, you will earn the benefits of a God Spirit minus the responsibility. You can also give up the God Spirit identity whenever you please. Are you still not satisfied with this good stuff? Aside from all that, Sky God crown has no battle abilities? Hansen still thought it was useless for him to become a God Spirit. God laughed. Of course, the Sky God crown is almost indestructible. Its durability is stronger than most Annihilation class got personality armaments. You can use it like a brick, but the item itself does not have battle power. Okay, you should think of a powerful title now. Once you have a god name, you can really enjoy the powers of being a god. You said there were only 12 Annihilation god spirits, Hansen said. If I use the Sky God crown, will I count as one of the 12? Will I have to go and guard the Geno Hall? You do not need to, God answered with certainty. Did I not tell you? You are not a real God Spirit. You do not take on the responsibilities of God Spirits. Hansen knew that God was not a liar, but he was still disappointed. If he could go to the Geno Hall, he would like to see what the interior of that place looked like. Seeing the empty God flag, Hansen thought for a few moments and said, I will call myself the God of Wealth. I love that name, and it goes with my name Dollar. Huh? God heard Hansen's God title and laughed. He weirdly looked at Hansen and said, Your god name is very happy. It's not bad and very creative. I know, right? This title is great. Hansen knew that God did not mean it, but he did not mind. The front of the white god flag now had the word wealth on it. The back displayed the words god of. The flag shone with a god light. It flew out of the god hall and stuck to the god temple's door. The moment the god flag went there, the sky god crown on Han Sen's head shone brightly. Many mysterious messages emerged from the sky god crown, which made him understand many things. I see it now. Han Sen was feeling mysterious messages. He suddenly seemed to really understand what it was like to be a god spirit. He was not clueless anymore. Aside from what God said, the god spirits had other powers. It was better than what Han Sen expected. God spirits earned the buffs of a god temple and the buffs did not merely apply to immortality. There was a god power buff. The higher level the god temple was, the more god power he would receive. Hansen had that annihilation class god temple. It gave Hansen god power buffs. It made his battle power increase another level. That buff only worked in his god temple area. If he left the god temple, the god power buff would be gone. There was also a special god spirit authority. That special authority only belonged to god spirits. Every god spirit had its authority. Different god temples and different god spirit powers and different authorities. Hansen did not know what other powers god spirits had. The god spirit authority he received was called wealth. If any creature paid with their lifespan, Hansen could bless them with some wealth and give them significant wealth for a short amount of time. Of course, god spirit authorities could only be used when that person paid a sum of their years. The scarier thing was that the wealth Hansen gave did not just come out from nowhere. It used the wealth that the person would have in the future. If Hansen gave someone more wealth than he earned in his life, very bad things would happen to that person. Chapter 2978 Fulfill Your Wishes Hansen thought, is an annihilation class god spirit's authority just wealth? Those gods used to say they could do anything and fulfill any wish they wanted to. That is such a big scam. According to the god spirit rules, God spirits could not give fake information. If they lied, they would not be able to finalize a trade. They would not receive the lifespans they sought. To compose a trade, God spirits would use everything they could. I really don't understand why they seem to be so keen on seeking out years. Sky God Crown's message had not included that. Therefore, Hansen was unable to find out. That aside, God spirits had the authority to leave the God temples. They were not able to leave the God temples for long. During that period, the god temple was sealed up so they could not be challenged. Unless the god spirits possessed a creature of the universe, they would not be able to leave for a very long time. If they did do that, 
they would not receive protection from the god temples anymore. If they died, they died. Unless the god personality was taken back to the god temple, they could no longer be respawned. There was still one very important thing. God spirits were allowed to challenge god spirits that were a higher level than them. But that was pointless for Hansen because he was not a real god spirit. He could not level up his position any higher. Even if he could challenge them, Hansen was already annihilation level. He could only challenge god spirits that were at a higher level than him. Hansen could not fight an enemy that was the same annihilation class as he was. To challenge a reboot class god spirit was a death wish. Hansen would never have tried being so bold. Hansen looked at God and wished to say something, but God winked at him. He looked at the door of the God temple and said, You have business to attend to. What do you mean? Hansen looked at the God temple's door. He did not see anything. He turned around and looked at God, but he was gone. While Hansen was wondering what was going on, he saw someone fly into the God plaza area. They were flying toward his God temple. Hansen wondered, It cannot be this much of a coincidence. I have only just become a God spirit and a creature in the universe already wants to challenge me. According to what Hansen had been inspecting, the universe creatures only dared challenging destruction class god spirits. No one dared to challenge disaster class. Why would a creature go and challenge him, who was annihilation class? That body was coming straight for Hansen's god temple. It soon entered the radius of the god temple. The god palace and god temples were situated in a realm that was between reality and space. No matter where one was in the universe, if one's mind was in God's palace, one could go there. A creature that was able to fly in the universe could just use an airship to go to a God palace. It did not matter how far or near one was. Hansen stared at the body. He was shocked. It was someone he knew. Why is Fox Queen coming here for? Hansen thought. Fox Queen was the wife of Ghost Bone General. As far as Hansen knew, her power was not very strong when compared to most deifieds. She was not able to fight a destruction class god spirit. How could she hope to tackle an annihilation class god spirit? While Hansen was making guesses, Fox Queen was already in the plaza of the god temple. By the rules of the god spirits, Hansen had no choice but to fight. Otherwise, Fox Queen was able to replace his god spirit flag. As long as the sky god crown was not broken, he would not die. Fox Queen came before the god temple and kneeled as if she was praying to a god. Mr. God of Wealth, I want to make a wish to you. Please help me. It looks like she is not here to challenge a god spirit. Hansen was shocked. He said, If you have come for a wish, then come in and speak. Thank you, Mr. Fox Queen entered God Temple. Hansen's heart jumped. The God Temple's gate closed down, leaving only him and Fox Queen, the two of them, inside. Tell me about your wish. I will fulfill your wish. Hansen stood upon the God Altar. He looked at Fox Queen with a very serious look as he spoke. Fox Queen was the wife of Ghost Bone General. She must have known all about God's spirits. There was an 80% to 90% chance that she knew there was a consequence for the formation of wishes. Hansen wondered why she had still come there to make a wish. Fox Queen kneeled again. Her fox eyes stared at Hans Senator. She spoke very softly. I only have one wish. Please help me get back my fox races race weapon 9 spin destiny mirror. If that can be done, I am willing to do anything. Because the sky god crown had a light above, it made Hansen look like a god enveloped in rainbow god light. Only his body was visible. One was not able to see his face. Fox Queen was not able to tell that he was Hans Senator that fact made Hansen feel strange. After Fox Queen made a wish, sky god crown sent a message to Hans Senator it said that if he was able to fulfill Fox Queen's wish, he would earn a lifespan of 300. The Sky God Crown showed that if Hansen finished the wish, he could at least get 300 lifespans. It was not just 300 lifespans. He actually was able to get more than that. It was like if Hansen picked up the 9-spin Destiny Mirror and gave it to her, he would only get the lowest amount of lifespans available. If he went and stole it from some scary elite and returned the 9-spin Destiny Mirror to her, she would pay with a lot more of her years. Aside from that, she would also get karma she would have to pay the price. Hansen's god spirit power was just wealth. Fox Queen's wish was not in his power to fulfill. Hansen had to find a way to finish Fox Queen's wish. If he was unable to finish it, his lifespan would be damaged. Accepting a wish was a double-edged sword. If god spirits accepted the wish, they had to find a way to finish it. 
If they could not complete it, they would have to scam the wisher to get and keep the lifespan God's spirits employed every dirty trick in the book. Fox Queen's wish was something Hansen wanted to complete. That was because he had the nine-spin destiny mirror. Hansen still hesitated. He did not know if the nine-spin destiny mirror was worth the 300 years. To universal creatures, lifespan was very important. Hansen was not a real god spirit. He was not immortal. Now, Hansen had a lifespan of 2,000. That seemed like a very long time. To many creatures of the universe, it was nothing. Fox Queen was nervous. She had taken a big risk coming to make a wish. There was nothing else she could do. She had to do this. Going to the god temple to make a wish was a dangerous prospect. If the god did not want her to make a wish, they could simply kill her. She would have been killed. Fortunately, Hansen had allowed her to enter the god temple and speak her wish. Her life was safe, but it was unknown whether or not Hansen could fulfill the wish or how he would even go about trying. It was certain that it would affect her a lot. If a god spirit finished her very difficult wish, she would have to pay with a lot of her lifespan. She was afraid that her lifespan might get all spent. Hansen looked at Fox Queen and coldly said, I can fulfill your wish, but I have a condition. Chapter 2979 Forever a Slave Hansen felt a bit regretful about allowing Fox Queen to enter the God Temple and make a wish. After she made her wish, he was unable to hurt or kick Fox Queen to the curb. He was not allowed to reject the wish. He had to find a way to make her wish come true. Hansen saw that the nine-spin destiny mirror was only worth 300 years of her lifespan. That was too little for him, so he did not want to make the trade. Fortunately, Hansen's position as a god was Annihilation class. Compared to the Destruction class and Disaster class, Annihilation god spirits had special powers. It was like Hansen was able to apply more rules that lesser god spirits could not enforce. A Destruction class god spirit did not have that power. Of course, Destruction class god spirits were able to make the same conditions, but the conditions they enforced would not be protected by the rules of god spirits. Even if the wisher betrayed the rules, the destruction class god spirit could not do anything about it. Upon hearing this, Fox Queen felt her body shake. Although she knew she was going to lose some years of her lifespan, hearing the two conditions made her scared. Based on her knowledge of god spirits, she knew looking for a destruction class god spirit to make a wish would not put on an extra condition. Destruction class got spirits may not have been able to take the nine-spin destiny mirror from Han Senator even if it was taken back. The price to pay would have been very high. Perhaps her lifespan would be all gone. Fox Queen risked coming there to find an annihilation class god spirit. She hoped such a god spirit would complete the wish with ease, and she would not have to pay up much of her lifespan. High class god spirits had the power to apply an additional charge. Fox Queen was helpless to control it. If she did not agree to the extra condition, the wish would not be done. It would become a problem. There was a chance she would not leave that place alive. Please tell me, mister. Fox Queen looked at Hansen with sad eyes. Her face looked very pitiable. It was the sort of look that could make one buckle and comply with whatever she wanted. It made people want to comfort her. By using small tricks against me, do you want to die? Hansen coldly grunted. His body had god powers. It was like hell. It was like a sea. It was headed for Fox Queen. Fox Queen's body shivered. She immediately kowtowed and said, Please do not be mad. It was my fault. Please forgive how ignorant I am. Seeing Fox Queen quivering beneath the altar, Hansen felt delighted. Fox Queen used to cause him so much trouble. Now, Fox Queen's fate was in his hands. It made him feel incredibly good. It was a shame Hansen had led her into the temple to make a wish. That kind of offense was enough to cancel the wish transaction. Therefore, Hansen had no choice but to continue. I can help you get back Nine Spin Destiny Mirror, but you need to be my slave forever. Hansen was like a lion opening his mouth. He did not want to give her the Nine Spin Destiny Mirror for 300 years of her lifespan. If Fox Queen did not agree to the terms and conditions, the wish would fail. Hansen would no longer have to give her the Nine Spin Destiny Mirror. If Fox Queen agreed, her life would forever be in Han Sen's hands. She would become a slave and forever be ruled by him. Giving her the nine-spin destiny mirror did not change much. Upon hearing this condition, Fox Queen looked terrible. Her body started to shake. The conditions he made were greater than she thought they would be. It was like taking her. Life. Mister, 
Can you do that for me because I am so poor? Fox Queen pretended to be destitute as she kneeled. You cannot talk in front of a god. If you don't want it, forget about it. Turn around and go home. Hansen did not care about her feelings, so he spoke as harshly as he wanted to. Please do not be mad. Fox Queen bowed again. She looked sincere, but her mind was thinking, I just wanted to come and try this god of wealth that I have never heard of before. I did not expect he would compose conditions this gross. But that is good. If he makes a condition like that, he is not going to steal all the years of my lifespan. Perhaps I will not lose much of my lifespan. This is the end of the road. To be held by this annihilation, God's spirit is safer. If the extreme king wants to kill me, it will be even harder for them. Although she thought of things this way, in her mind, she was a bit annoyed. This is all because of that Han senator if it was not for him. I would not have gone to Destiny's Tower. He also took the nine-spin Destiny Mirror, which made me become an enemy of the Extreme King. That Bai Wu Chang keeps chasing me. He has forced me into this position, so now I have no choice. She continued to think, this time, the God of Wealth will take the nine-spin Destiny Mirror. Hansen will be doomed, which makes me feel a bit better. Thinking of all this, Fox Queen realized she did not have much of a choice in the matter. If she went to another Annihilation God Spirit, they might not have even allowed her to make a wish. She bowed and said, I will do whatever you tell me to do. As Fox Queen said that, the sky god crown shone with a god light. Hansen knew that the deal was made. He only had to give her the nine-spin destiny mirror and 300 years of Fox Queen's lifespan would be his. Fox Queen. Fox Queen. I bet you never dreamed of this day. Hansen was feeling very cocky. He did not give her the nine-spin destiny mirror yet. He coldly said, you go home first. Come back to the God Hall in three days and pick up the nine-spin destiny mirror. Fox Queen immediately said thank you, but she did not leave just yet. She changed her tone and said to Hansen, Mister, there is something I know. Perhaps it will help you get the nine-spin destiny mirror back. I do not know if I should tell you. Hansen coldly asked, Oh, why don't you indulge me? Fox Queen was not able to see Hansen's face, but he did not sound very interested. She quickly said, the nine-spin destiny mirror is in that crystallizer Han Sen's hands. From what I know about him, he got the nine-spin destiny mirror from Destiny's Tower. He destroyed the god doll inside. Really? Han Sen feigned surprise. In his mind, he coldly laughed. Very good, Fox Queen. You are convincing a god spirit to trick me. I will remember this, and I will make you pay. Fox Queen looked at Han Sen, who now seemed interested. She quickly said, that God Doll was in the Extreme King for many years. It must have collected a great number of years. Hansen broke the God Doll, so he must have a lot of lifespan in him. Fox Queen stopped talking, but it was so obvious what she was doing. It was like she was saying, Mr. God Spirit, look at Hansen like he is a big slab of meat. You should go and dine on him. You know a lot about God Spirits, Hansen coldly said as he looked at Fox Queen. Fox Queen was shocked. She lowered her head and said, I have just heard a thing or two. Okay, you go home. Come back and pick up the nine-spin destiny mirror in three days. Hansen sent Fox Queen away, but then he was quite angry. Women are the evilest. You better watch out, Fox Queen. I will make you cry for your mommy and daddy. Chapter 2980 Moment God After Fox Queen's departure, Hansen did not think this was right. Why had Fox Queen appeared right then and there? She had not selected any other god spirit. She had just happened to choose him, who had only just appeared in his own god temple. To be able to do tricks in a god palace, it must be that god. Hansen started to think it must be related to god, who was possessing Gu Wanner. No way, I cannot keep using this god temple. If it keeps opening, perhaps something bad might happen. Hansen thought about this and put away his sky god crown. He left his god temple. After Hansen put away the sky god crown, the god of wealth temple shut down. Because there was no god inside the temple, no one could go there and challenge it. What does that god want from me? In the godless fight, the one in second place was only able to earn a destruction class god personality armament. Even if I was in first place and leveled up one more, I would just receive a disaster class god personality. Is it not too much to give an annihilation class god personality armament to someone? Hansen was confused. God must have done all of that on purpose. Now that he thought about it, even that God would not have expected Golden Growler to give him the first seat. There was no way he would have expected that. 
Was that decision made immediately? Hansen still did not think that was right. Hansen was not able to come to a conclusion he liked, so he stopped wasting time. He looked at the sky full of god temples and scanned it for no world god's temple. He wanted to fight no world god first. When Hansen discovered no world god temple, he noticed no world god's god temple was still shut down. He is not here. That depressed Hans Senator judging from the experience he had as a god spirit. God spirits only had three ways to shut down their god temple. Ordinarily, they were only allowed to shut down a god temple for a short period of time. That allotted time was the only time a god spirit could leave the god palaces. They were not able to be gone for a long time. Every time after using that permission to leave, it would be a long time before they were allowed to leave again. The other way was if the god spirit had been slain once. It did not matter if the god spirit was swapped. If the god spirit was willing, they could shut down the god temple for an entire month. Of course, they were not likely to give up that right. The longest time a temple could be shut down was for the duration of time a god spirit possessed a creature of the universe. If they left their god temple like that, their temple could pretty much be closed forever. No one was able to challenge them. One had to wait until the god spirit returned. Then, the god spirit's ability to be challenged would be re-enabled. Fox Queen entered the temple and made a wish. Every creature saw that. Although they did not know what happened after Fox Queen exited the temple, it gave people very strange feelings. Many creatures wanted to go to the god temples for the creation of wishes. They had all sorts of wishes to make. The god spirits would not mind those people coming to make their wishes either unless it was for some special reason. Otherwise, not many god spirits would have killed the wishers. But that was in the future. Hansen did not have time to care that much. After he went silent for a bit, he flew toward a god temple amid the god palaces. No world god was not there, so Hansen selected another god spirit that was disaster class. He wanted to see how strong a disaster class god spirit was. Huh? Is that Dollar? It is him. The universe's god list first elite is challenging a god spirit. What god list first elite? Golden Growler gave that to him. Regardless, Dollar's power is very strong. I wonder what level of God spirit he will challenge. It will most likely be a destruction class one. After all, no creature dares to challenge a disaster class God spirit. No way. He is flying to a higher level of God palaces. Is he going to save Golden Growler? Stop making jokes. Han Godfather and those two true gods from Empty Mountain were beaten by Moment God with ease. Dollar would die by going there. It is hard for us to say. Dollar and Golden Growler's relationship is special. Golden Growler gave him the first place. It is only fair that he would try to save him, right? After a while, many creatures watched Hansen fly toward a disaster god palace. Someone said, there's no way he's going to challenge Moment God. That would be him having a death wish. Golden Growler really is blind. He gave him the godless seat. It is just like Godfather Han. While everyone was talking, Hansen entered the radius of the god temple. He was on the god temple's plaza. It was a very old stone god temple. The god temple looked like a medieval church. The god temple had two floors. There was a big stone clock. The minute, hour, and second hands were ticking slowly. It was like a normal watch but very large. Moment god. Hansen looked at the god's title on the god flag. He was shocked. Anyone knew that this moment god could be a time disaster god spirit. Hansen had come to challenge Moment God because he wanted to see how things fared in Xenogeneic mode. He wanted to see if he could fight a disaster class God Spirit so he could ready himself to fight Moment God in the future. They were both time element God Spirits. If he was unable to fight a disaster class God Spirit, he could not fight an annihilation class Moment God. A sharp and squeaky voice came from the God Temple stone door. Heaven has roads we do not walk hell has no doors, and you come knocking. Do you have a death wish? With that sound, the stone door opened up. A shadow emerged from the god temple. Hansen and the races of the universe's creatures and people stared at the god spirit that was coming out from the god temple. This was the first time someone had sought to challenge a disaster class god spirit. It was a very eye-catching sight. When that shadow walked out of the stone temple's door, many creatures saw that it was a weird creature. It looked like a human, but its skin was a black carapace. It looked like a human buck. Its eyes were very weird. The eyes had no pupils. They were just white. Within the eye white, 
there was the illustration of a clock. It included the hands that told the time and the numbers they went around. Honston was not about to underestimate this foe. After all, he had never fought a disaster god spirit before. The god spirits he used to kill were all destruction class. He held the sky vine radish god lance and gathered up the power on the tip of the lance. He used the Dongshin Sutra to the max suddenly. The whole universe was a complicated machine in Han Sin's eyes. Countless universes were spinning. BZ's T. A lance was thrust forward. It was like space was punctured by that lance. It went in front of Moment God. Moment God coldly smiled. Its left eye was like a watch. The needles rotated quickly. The speed of Han Sin's lance was fast, but Moment God was faster. It went left a little and avoided the attack of the Sky Vine Radish God Lance. Hansen's expression did not change. The lance was like heavy rain striking down, but Moment God moved swiftly. It was like it could just move without thinking. Hansen's heavy storm like lance attack did not touch its body. Chapter 2981 Time is like a ruler. Blasphemy to a God spirit should result in death. Moment God coldly looked at Han Senator, the needles in his right eye were turning quickly. It was different from the ones in his left eye. The needles in his right eye were going counterclockwise. As the needles of his right eye spun, in other people's eyes, Hansen's movements seemed to be slower. It looked like he was moving in slow motion. Moment God's speed wasn't slowing down. He was very fast. One was fast, and the other was slow. It created a clear contrast. Moment God teleported in front of Hans Senator, his fingers were very sharp. He was scratching toward Hansen's face. The fingernails were like the tips of a lance. They were going to pierce Hans Sen's eyes. Moment God's face looked very interested as he laughed in an evil way. He slashed downward, but Hans Sen's body disappeared in front of him. In the next moment, Hans Sen's body appeared near Moment God's back. The Sky Vine Radish God Lance was thrusting into his opponent's neck. The tip of the lance was right next to him. That's a very powerful teleport skill, but it is futile against me. The needles in Moment God's eyes kept spinning in different directions. Han Sen's speed was constantly slowing down while his opponent's speed grew faster. The tip of the lance almost touched his skin. Moment God established some distance between them. He turned around and threw a punch into Han Sen's belly. Han Sen was like an old man with slow reactions. He saw Moment God's punch, but he could do nothing to dodge. It was also too late for him to put the lance away. Moment God's fist was still too slow. Hansen's body teleported to the other end of the Moment God Temple Plaza. The man and the god kept fighting. Moment God's power, which could control time, was incredibly weird. Hansen's ability to teleport was shocking too. Neither of them was able to do anything to each other. Dollar is so strong. He can fight a disaster god's spirit without reprieve. He keeps using teleportation skills to move around. Don't say that. Moment God has to be a time element god spirit. He has the power to make dollars slow down in a web of time. That does not only make him slow down, but his powers and mind also slow down. If it was a normal person in this situation, even if he had a teleportation skill, it would be too late to use them. He would instantly be killed by moment God. Dollar's thoughts traveled 10,000 miles per hour. They are not restricted by the time God's power. In the universe, not many people can practice teleportation skills to this level. It is almost as good as the very high with their god's wander ability. No matter how powerful his teleportation skills are, he cannot defeat Moment God. Hansen had his time area to use, but it was his other persona that was making use of it. He was not able to use it as he was now. Plus, a time ghost beast soul's time area was weaker than Moment God's time god power. Even if he used it, it would not make a change in the current fight. Using time power before time element god spirits was like using a big knife against a Guan Yu. Hansen did not plan on doing that. Because Hansen had the time area, he knew that breaking moment god's time god area could only be accomplished through two different techniques. One required speed, and one required absolute power. Old Vulture used absolute speed to break Hansen's time area. Hansen did not have that kind of speed so all he could do was use absolute power to break moment god's god power. It does not matter with time or space, but the rules of the universe are the rules of the universe. They are governed by the universal cogwheels. If I can control the cogwheels of the universe, I can prohibit the universal cogwheels from moving. Even god powers will be unable to affect the spread. 
Hansen teleported to dodge Moment God's attack. He kept using the Dongshin Sutra and pumped all the power into Dongshin Aura that he could. He tried to use absolute power to control the spinning of the universal cogwheels. In Xenogenic mode, my power is better than the average true god. I still do not know if it is enough to suppress a disaster class god spirit. Hansen kept using the Dongshin Aura to give pressure to the Time Universal Cogwheel. The Time Universal Cogwheel could not be stopped completely, but the speed of its spin was slow. The effects on Hansen weakened. The Xenogenic power cannot suppress disaster god spirits. Hansen frowned. Time's delay had little effect on him now. Under the effect of the Dongshin Aura, Moment God's own time boost was slowed down. It made his speed slow down. Adding this and taking away that, Hansen turned active. He was not going to keep teleporting to fight Moment God. Dong. The Skyvine Radish God Lance was able to hit Moment God's claws for the first time. The God power hit the Lance's light. It triggered a scary explosion and shockwave. Hansen flew away through space by a few thousand miles. Moment God's legs had two very deep footprints on the God Temple Plaza. He can affect my time God power. It is no wonder he is so cocky. He dares to challenge me. Moment God's eyes flashed. The needles in his eyes kept spinning. They looked scary and weird. He said, if you think this can fight a god, you are wrong. I will let you know the difference between a mere creature and a god spirit. After that, Moment God's claws dug into his own eyes. There was one in the right and one in the left. Catcha. Seeing blood being spilled as the two sharp claws poked into his eyes, Moment God unplugged his eyeballs right out of their sockets. This was different from what Hansen was expecting. Inside the sockets, God lights flickered. The eyeballs, which had been dug out, were not the only ones. Many eyes started to come out. One by one, eyes rolled out of the God light socket. Roar. When Moment God madly roared, all the eyeballs in his eyes were dug out. There were twelve of them. He put his hands together. He made a bracelet out of the twelve eyeballs. They went across his crossed hands. There were still streams of blood coming out of his eyes. Hansen looked at the eyeball bracelet. All those eyeballs were like circular watches. All of the needless were jumping to an unspecified rhythm, but all the eyeballs were pointing to a different point in time. Hansen looked closer and discovered that each watch was one hour later than the others. Time is like a ruler. One mark is one scar. Stupid low-life creature, how dare you insult a god spirit? Today, I will wipe you from the annals of history. I will let all the cheap creatures know that they cannot offend a god spirit. Moment God's hands were holding the bloody eyeball necklace. His eyes were still bleeding god blood as he spoke his words of madness. After Moment God crazily spoke, his fingers flicked the eyeballs. The necklace was instantly brighter. It covered the entirety of space. Chapter 2982 Time Etching The whole of space in the area of the god temple was twisted. Nothing was visible with any ordinary clarity. This was what the deified elites could see, but even their vision started to become distorted. It was like a shadow in the water. When the water moved, the vision twisted. Moment God held his time bracelet. He mumbled words like a Buddha speaking for the dead. In that twisted parcel of space, Moment God's body was like a sky god covering the whole of the god temple sky. Hansen was like a tiny ant. Except a god's anger. Time etching. Moment God's god voice was loud. He raised the bracelet that was in his hands. The needless present in the twelve eyeballs was spinning madly. In one moment, Hansen felt as if he could see the flow of time with his eyes. All the numbers in the twelve eyes fired out some weird, twisted lights. The light connected them in the twelve eyes. It was like a giant net covering the entire god temple's area. Hansen did not have a space to avoid it. He could not find a place to be safe. 1G. He saw the weird light cross together like a net. It was coming down. Hansen pushed his Dongshan aura to the max, but he still could not stop the twisting lines of time that were descending. The time light's line landed on Hansen's Dongshan armor. It was like a laser and left some weird markings on it. It was like a symbol that represented time. It scrawled across the entire battle armor surface. This is, Hansen noticed his body did not get injured. Instead, his whole body was marked. The markings were releasing a weird sort of power. Hansen wanted to raise his hands and see what had been etched into his armor and what it meant for him. He shockingly found out his arm was no longer listening to him. He was unable to move it. Why is this happening? 
Hansen quickly discovered that it was not just his arm. His whole body was unable to move. He was not even able to cast a Geno art. Hansen was feeling very strange. Although he was unable to move, he still felt his body existed. He was able to feel his body's presence flowing. Everything seemed to be normal. Whenever he wanted to do something, his hands, legs, and presence listened. This feeling was very weird. It was like a ghost crushing him. He felt everything but could not move. Moment God looked at Hansen coldly. The God blood was still flowing from his eye sockets. He was holding the bracelet while he said, Stop wasting your breath. Your time is already being erased. There is nothing you can do about it now. You can only accept God's punishment. That is the result of your blasphemy toward a God spirit. What moment God said was very simple. Hansen understood what he meant because he had practiced a time area geno art. He knew something about time element powers. Moment God had just reminded him a little, so Hansen knew what the time etching power could do. Hansen's body was not paralyzed because the time etching wiped off his body for a while. It was hard to explain. Normally, when Hansen wanted to do something, once his mind set it up, his body reacted. The time etching marks erased his body for a while. When Hansen had the idea to move, the time would be empty afterward. He needed to wait until the empty time was over. Then, Hansen's body would have the needed reaction. It was like playing a video game and the internet suddenly lagged. The time in between was wiped away. When the internet came back, the body reacted. Hansen did not know how long that empty time was. After seeing Moment God's very relaxed face, he knew it would not be any time soon. Moment God's hands were clutching the bloody eyeball necklace. He walked toward Han Senator the sockets that had God blood coldly looked at Han Senator they were going to touch Han Sen's face. He licked his lips and smiled evilly. Moment God then said, I thought you were so good at fighting. I am standing right here. Why are you not moving? Hansen wanted to slap him 1,000 or 10,000 times, but it was a shame his body would not listen. The time etching erased the time he had in his body. He was not even able to speak. Don't say I did not give you a chance. If you don't move now, you will receive God's punishment. Moment God weirdly laughed. He reached out his hand and moved forward to grab Hansen's head. It looks like I will have to use this. Hansen gently closed his eyes. He was going to use Super God Spirit Mode. At this time, the Super God Spirit body was not going to be affected. With Wanner's effect, his Super God Spirit Mode would not last long, but it was enough. Moment God was very close to him. His awareness was very low. He only needed one moment to take Moment God's life. Moment God's face had a bloody smile. The claw, which looked like a very sharp talon, drew closer to Hansen's head. Clearly, he did not want Hansen to die a swift death. Do you want to live? Beg before me. Perhaps I will show you a speck of mercy and let you, a low life, cheap creature, continue your pitiful existence. Moment God weirdly laughed as he spoke. The creatures watching the fight saw a dollar being suppressed by Moment God. He was unable to move, so it was needless to say they were shocked. Although Dollar was not the real number one fighter on the god list, his real power put him in the top ten. Yet here he was getting suppressed by a disaster class god spirit by such an obscene amount. How was anyone supposed to not feel shocked? This was just a disaster class god spirit. Above disaster class were Annihilation and Reboot. There were two higher classes of god spirits. They must have been absolutely terrifying. We are just creatures of the universe. We cannot fight God spirits. Only by becoming God spirits ourselves can we shed the trappings of our mortal body. That way, we can become superior life forms. Many creatures thought that. Hansen was just watching Moment God. Although he was not able to speak, even if he could, he would not beg for his life before Moment God. That equaled making a wish to Moment God. Hansen had briefly been a God spirit. He knew making a wish like that would cost him a fortune. Hansen's eyes made Moment God feel so annoyed. They made him so angry that he coldly said, If you want to die, I will do as you ask. After that, the claws sped up. They came slashing toward Hansen's head. Hansen was unable to fight back. He watched the claws land on his head. Stop it. A voice sounded from beyond the God Temple. The voice was so slow that no one noticed a body flying into the God Temple's plaza. Because of that moment, Hansen's body shone brightly. He was like a volcano erupting. His body armor was covered by the time etching marks. It turned into a bright white color. 
Chapter 2983 Killing a God Spirit Moment God did not believe Hansen could break the time etchings control. He was too close to Hans Senator, he wanted to use time power to stop Hansen, but it was no longer working. In that burning light, Hansen was holding the sky vine radish god lance. It had cold light that pierced into Moment God's chest. So what if you can hit me? The body of a disaster class God's spirit cannot be harmed by you. Before Moment God finished his sentence, his face changed. He looked down and saw Han Sin's sky vine radish god lance had perforated his chest. In that cold light, Moment God's disaster class God's spirit body was pierced. His body started to collapse from the point of that wound on his body. No. This is impossible. Moment God thought it was unbelievable and screamed. His entire body turned into dust and exploded. It looks like my super god spirit mode has become much stronger as I leveled up. Hansen was a little surprised by its effectiveness. He had not expected to kill Moment God in the way he had with one hit. He was hoping to just heavily damage Moment God. The moment he used super god spirit mode, he chose his strongest attack, Super Spank. The effect far exceeded Hansen's expectations. With one hit, he blew up the disaster class God's spirit Moment God. Although Moment God had been very careless, the main reason for defeating him was because Hansen's Super God Spirit Mode was just too strong. Hansen measured it a little. Even when he used the Kirin's Holy Spirit, it was no match for the power of Super God Spirit Mode. But Wana was there. His Super God Spirit only let out a strike and that was that. It quickly dissolved. Hansen returned to normal. It had all happened very fast. The universe's audience saw Hansen's body explode with white light. In the next second, he was thrusting his weapon through Moment God. The incredibly strong disaster class Moment God had not been able to resist. He screamed and died. The universe went silent. After a while, all the creatures started reacting. Everyone was erupting with chatter. It is no wonder Dollar is the strongest in the universe. One land strike was enough to blow up a disaster class God spirit. That is invincible. Huh? You did not say that before. You said Han Sin's godless number one was given by Golden Growler. That is not what I meant. Golden Growler gave out number one because he knew he would lose. Otherwise, why would he give it to him? It just means Dollar is too strong. Dollar is too strong. He must be the first creature in the universe to slay a disaster class god spirit. Everybody was talking about it. The green-haired beast from Empty Mountain gnashed its teeth and madly said, Dollar has that power, yet he did not go to save Little Mountain Leader. If he cooperates with Hansen, perhaps they can save Little Mountain from that moment god temple. The Ghana woman coldly grunted, wolf hearts and dog lungs. They had no idea Hansen and Dollar could not cooperate. No one suspected Hansen and Dollar were the same person because they were of a different race. It was like a cat and a dog. No one would have believed they were the same. In the Geno Hall, God looked at Hans and standing in front of the God Temple. He frowned and thought, this power. It is going to reach that level. His body really is different. In Blood Legion, Human King squinted his eyes and looked at Hans Senator, his eyes looked weird. On the streets of a small planet, a fortune-telling old man opened his eyes wide. He looked at Hans and in front of the God Temple. He was full of confusion and said, weird. Not a God Spirit. How could he use a power that was like a god spirit? Sky Palace leader frowned and receded into his thoughts. Dollar, what race is he? Why would he possess that power? In front of Moment God Temple, Moment God turned into dust but did not fade away like other god spirits. The god temple's god altar did not start. The god flag that had Moment God's title suddenly turned white. The god temple started to look dim. It turned into an empty temple with no god spirit. What? What is going on? How has God's spirit not been revived? Everyone was shocked. They did not know what was happening. The God spirit that claimed to be immortal did not respawn. Hansen was confused too. After he hunted Moment God, he only received one announcement. Disaster class God's spirit hunted. Moment God. The announcement was just that one simple line. No God spirit or God spirit gene was received. It was different from what Hansen had slain before. What is going on? Is it because of Super Spank? Or is it a problem with my Super God Spirit mode? Hansen suddenly had many ideas running through his mind. On the other side of the God Temple's plaza, a body stood where it was. It was looking at Hansen with much shock. 
After a moment, that shocked face suddenly had a weird smile and said, Dollar really is legendary. One lance enabled you to slay a god. In the universe, you really must be number one. By King? Hansen turned around. He felt weird. He knew Bai King was already there, but he did not know why Bai King had come there now. Obviously, Bai King had arrived there in the hopes of saving him. If he had not used his super god spirit mode, Bai King would have come there to take moment god strike on his behalf. Hansen did not think his relationship with Bai King was that good. So far, everything Bai King did confused Han Sr. Hansen looked at Bai King and asked, Why? This place is not appropriate for us to talk. Let us find another place to talk. After speaking, Bai King left the god palaces. Hansen followed Bai King and flew away from the god palaces. He really wanted to know what Bai King's motive was for treating him the way he was all the time. Hansen and Bai King disappeared after leaving the god temple because the god palaces showed up again. It was a place everyone could see from across the universe. Every race was able to witness what happened near the god palaces. After leaving the god palaces, unless they were close to Hansen, no one could see them. This act made the universe blow up. Every creature was shocked and confused. Aren't god spirits immortal? What is going on? How was Dollar able to murder a god? Spirit? What just happened? Why didn't Moment God revive inside the god temple? Oh my god. Dollar can really slay god spirits. It looks like god spirits are not invincible. They claim to be immortal but he was killed by Dollar. The whole universe was talking about Hans and killing a god spirit. The invincible image of god spirit seemed to have crumbled a bit. Hans Sen and Bai King had just left the god palaces. They were looking for a quiet place to talk when the god palace's god temple suddenly shone very bright. Chapter 2984 God Spirit Descends In the god palaces, the god temple under the Geno Hall began to release a 3,000-foot-long light. It was like a sun exploding. Previously, the life force was like a sea. The god temple that released the scary god light was suddenly dead. The shining gold god temple was dim. It was like some dust had been scattered. What's going on? Hansen and Bai King were shocked. That god temple was very high. It was only one step below the Geno Hall. It was an annihilation class god temple. Looking at the god temple now, it seemed as if it had been beaten and shut down. In the universe, who can beat an annihilation class god spirit and force it to shut down? While Hansen pondered this, he saw the dusty god temple door open. A shadow emerged from beyond. The creatures of the universe did not see whose body it was. All they saw was a flash and the body disappear. It looked like it left the god palace. Oh, no. Bai King's face changed. Hansen looked at Bai King and asked, Oh, no. That annihilation class got spirit possessed a body and descended, Bai King said. It entered the universe. We should run. He wanted to run off immediately. Before his body moved, he saw a portion of space move nearby. A body appeared. It was the same body that emerged from the god palace. The body was not very tall. It just about a foot taller than Hansen, but the power it wielded was strong. He was wearing black armor. His shoulders had a black hammer that was the size of a barrel. His god eyes were coldly looking at Han Sr. You killed a god. You should be killed. The god spirit did not say much. He only said a few words before starting to wave his big hammer around in the air. Hansen understood that the annihilation god spirit had possessed a body to descend and kill him since he had killed a god. Hansen did not say anything. He used galaxy teleportation because he wanted to leave. He wanted to teleport a few systems away. Hansen teleported away. While he was teleporting, he was inside a space tunnel. He heard some explosion sounds next to his ear. He then felt his body get hit. He was knocked out of the space tunnel. Hansen's eyes flashed. He still saw himself in space. That god spirit's strong body was not very far away. He was holding that big, scary hammer. The space around was cracking like glass. The space cracks were like a spider web. The power of the god spirit's hammer was breaking the entire system. It created many broken layers in space. Even using galaxy teleportation was impossible now. It could no longer be used. Hansen knew it was time to fight for his life. Killing a disaster class god spirit had been incredibly difficult. It forced him to use his super god spirit mode. Now, an annihilation class god spirit was using a body to descend. 
The power of that hammer far exceeded Hansen's power. Hansen's full power attack was unable to reach the magnitude of his new nemesis. He tightly held onto the sky vine radish god lance. Hansen pushed his own power to the maximum. By King, who was nearby, frowned. He looked at the god spirit and said, I do not think we offended you. Why have you descended to come and fight us? The god spirit was holding his big hammer as he coldly responded, Killing a god spirit is a crime. After that, another hammer came from the sky. He and Hansen were a galaxy apart, but that hammer's power was not coming to strike Hans Senator, it was striking the space that was in front of him. After the hammer came down, the whole of space shook. Hansen felt as if his body had been broken by space. Blurk. Hansen coughed up some boiling blood. He tried his hardest to fight back, but his xenogeneic battle body could still not withstand that scary shaking power. Many of his organs were severely injured, and his god bones had many fractures. It was like they were going to break any second. Like King was attacked too. His body was shining with light. There was a shield of light covering his body that looked like a god spirit. It blocked that scary shaking power. The god spirit hammered down. This time, the hammer's strike was greater than the last one. Hansen was in too much shock. He was forced to gather up power and ready himself for another battle. Boom. By King's body appeared in front of Han's senator that weird light was following by King's movement. It created a defensive bulwark and blocked the god spirit's heavy hammer attack. Spirit of God. Hansen was shocked. When he looked closer, it was not really a god spirit. The light of by King's body was like a god and a demon. It was like an ancient battle spirit. It had three heads and six arms. Six of the hands were wielding different weapons. There was a sword, knife, shield, Jian, ring, and mirror. There were four types of weapons, and they were releasing a weird and mysterious light. The one that blocked the god spirit's hammer attack was the shield. Hansen looked at the light. It looked just like a beast soul and god spirit, but it was different. He was thinking of the xenogeneics that had no souls in the Nine Defense Palace. He thought, are these spirit weapons made from the xenogeneic spirits? By King stared at the god spirit and slowly said to Hansen, you leave now. Why are you saving me? Hansen did not understand why Bai King was risking a fight against this god spirit to save him. In any way, his relationship with Bai King was not a positive one. If Bai King had come to save him because he was a student, Hansen believed that was hogwash. When Bai King's son died, he had not taken it that seriously. And he was just a student. Bai King stared at the god spirit as he said, I don't have time to talk about that. I cannot last long. Hurry up and leave. It is far away from here as you possibly can. No one is leaving. You are all going to die today. The god's voice was like thunder. It was extremely loud. After those words were spoken, the god spirit's big hammer was coming down. The hammer carried an incredibly scary breaking power. It was suddenly in front of Bai King. The shaking of space was very scary. Now that the hammer was coming, it was so strong that even Hansen, who was behind Bai King, felt as if he could not beat it. Bai King stared at that scary god hammer. He did not fall back. His body was like a demon god's shadow that was silently roaring in the sky. He was holding the shield while running toward the god hammer. Boom. A scary shockwave suddenly destroyed the space around. Hansen used all of his power to fight the shockwave, but his Dongxian armor was starting to reveal cracks. Run. Bai King's voice was heard again. Hansen gnashed his teeth. He turned around and headed for the broken space that looked like a spider web. Don't run. The god spirit coldly shouted. He was holding a big hammer. He waved it at Hansen, but Bai King stopped him. If there is someone I want to save, not even a god can get in the way. Bai King's voice was clear and cold. Hansen felt there was some scary space-shaking force behind him. Hansen used the borrow strength skill and the shockwave to propel his sprint through the broken space. Chapter 2985 Kill Sky God Teleporting so fast through broken space made the scary power from behind become weaker. When Hansen exited the broken space area, he did not see that Annihilation God's spirit follow. Bai King must have halted its pursuit. The spirit weapon the Extreme King made was stronger than the Holy Kirin. That is surprising. Hansen was shocked. Thinking of how that thing came from the Extreme King Alpha, it must have been handed down generation after generation. It was unknown how many xenogenic spirits had been built into it. It was not impossible for it to possess such wild strength. 
It was enough to fight an Annihilation class got spirit. Hansen still thought it was too ridiculous. Why does Bai King treat me the way he does? Hansen thought. That was what he wondered about the most. In the past, Bai King was in a rush to save him in the God Temple. He was so surprised. Now, Bai King was willing to fight an Annihilation class God spirit to save him. That made no sense. No matter what, let me get out of here first. Hansen was silent. He did not dare return to Space Garden yet. He teleported to the outskirts of the big barren systems. He was afraid the God Spirit would trace his retreat into Space Garden. If it followed him there, he feared things would not go so well. Going to the outskirts, Hansen went into the big barren systems again. He wanted to use the hidden power inside the big barren systems so that the God Spirit would not find out where he was. He would then be able to escape with Hansen's identity. Hansen had only just entered the big barren systems when he heard some thunder rage above his head. The space around cracked. It resulted in it all cracking like a spider web. That god spirit tore through space and managed to catch up. I thought that after a god spirit was possessed, their powers were restricted by their bodies. I thought they could only be true god class at best. This god spirit's power is way better than a true god class. Hansen frowned. Hansen looked at the god spirit and asked, where is Bai King? I, Kill Sky God, want to kill. Not even God can stop me, and he is just a creature in the universe. Kill Sky God was holding his God Hammer. He was floating in space and coldly looking at Hansen as he spoke. Hansen heard Kill Sky God's tone of voice and felt a flush of relief. It seemed as if Bai King had not been killed by him. Kill Sky God raised the hammer in his hand. In a voice laden with disdain, he said, The slayers of gods should be killed. No one can save you now. Kill Sky God used one hand to hold the giant hammer and swung it down. It was like the whole of space had become some brittle glass beneath the hammer. It just broke with the strike of the hammer. Hansen's eyes froze. His body was suddenly full of light. He entered Super God Spirit mode again. The shattering space had not left any marks on him. The Sky Vine Radish God Lance brought some cold light forward. It was thrust toward Kill Sky God. With a look of disdain, Kill Sky God raised his hammer to attack the Sky Vine Radish God Lance. Hansen flashed away holding the lance. He went behind Kill Sky God and thrust it through the back of his head. Super Spank. Hansen was still in Super God Spirit mode. He used Super Spank's power at max capacity. Catch a cha. The tip of the lance broke behind Kill Sky God. It sounded like metal shattering. It was like some metal had been sucked into a blender. God light and sparks were everywhere. The tip of the sky vine radish god lance only went in about five inches before not being able to proceed further. Super Spank's power was not enough to completely destroy Kill Sky God's substance chain. It only shattered a few of the substance chains that were outside. Kill Sky God waved his big hammer as Hansen had to pull his lance back. He used galaxy teleportation to get away from that system. Under the Super God Spirit mode, the broken space layers were unable to prevent him from using galaxy teleportation, but Wanner was still inside his Destiny's Tower. She was burning with gold light. She canceled Hansen's Super God Spirit mode. Hansen gnashed his teeth and held on, but he could not keep it up. His body fell out of Super God Spirit mode, forcing him out of galaxy teleportation. Although he left Kill Sky God's broken space, he was still inside the big barren systems. He had not gone too far. Without Super God Spirit Mode, Galaxy Teleportation could not be used in the Big Baron systems because they had magnetic storms and space vortexes. Hansen tried his best to get to the Holy Palace. There, the darkness power would at least affect the God Spirit. The God Spirit would not dare venture near that place. He had the Holy Kirin Spirit, which restricted the darkness from damaging him while he was in there. That was the best place for Hansen to use as a battleground. Hansen had not been flying for long when the sound of Kill Sky God's big hammer broke space again. The spider web like cracks in space reappeared and covered the sky to trap Han Sr. Wanner, Wanner, it is not that I do not want to take care of you. It is just because this is a critical moment. I need to live for the future. Hansen raised his hand and Destiny's Tower appeared in it. Hansen tossed it out. Seeing the Destiny's Tower go further and further, Hansen felt Super God's spirit body could be used with his body again. Wanner's effects on him were diminishing. Destiny's Tower? Impossible. You are not a God spirit. How can you have Destiny's Tower? 
Kill Sky God saw Hansen throw Destiny's tower away. He was shocked. Seeing it twice, Kill Sky God saw something amiss. He looked at Destiny's tower and said, No, this is not Destiny's tower. It is just a copy of Destiny's tower. I think I have seen this copy someplace else. I know it now. Back then, Sacred Leader wanted to create Destiny's tower. It did not break. It is still here. They should really die. Kill Sky God's face looked more murderous. He kept clutching his giant hammer, but he did not attack. A scary power was gathering up in the big hammer. There were very old and mysterious spells on each side of the hammer. Hansen's body still had Super God Spirit Mode, but he was still worried. From inside Destiny's Tower, something was thrown away. Wanner's body shone with a golden light. It looked crazy as she entered Blonde Mode. It was just like Hans Senator she adopted a strange status. Her body kept rapidly increasing. It was still different from Hans Senator his Super God Spirit Mode was not able to harm him. He just had to get out before it ended. Wanner was different. Her blonde mode cost her significant life every second. If she was blonde for too long, there was a chance her life force would end with it. The scariest thing was that after she turned into blonde mode, she would not recognize anyone. She would become like the raging demon lady. There was a chance that she would emerge from Destiny's Tower not knowing who was a friend and who was a foe. Whatever you are, just go to hell. The symbols on Kill Sky God's hammer were like suns. The weapon was striking towards space. The god symbol that was hanging in space suddenly branded space with a god symbol. In the next second, the symbol shattered. As the symbol shattered, everything inside the symbol turned to dust. It did not matter if it was a planet or sun. Although it did not explode, it released energy. In just a second, it had become a substance. Chapter 2986 Wanner woke up. Hansen was in super god spirit mode. That scary power went through his semi transparent body and did not do anything to him. Hansen was holding the Sky Vine Radish God Lance. He teleported in front of Kill Sky God and struck his head again. He had to act very quickly since Wanner would not last long, Dong. The Sky Vine Radish God Lance carried the power of Super Spank and struck Kill Sky God's neck. The tip of the lance plunged into his muscles and dug in a few inches before it was unable to go any further. Hansen had selected a location that had no armor for protection. If he struck the armor, the result would have likely been unfavorable. Kill Sky God's eyes flickered with god light, but he could not dodge Hansen's strike. The god hammer in his hand kept on swinging. Against the super god spirit body, it was useless. Hansen's sky vine radish god lance kept on attacking. It hit the same wound that had already been inflicted upon Kill Sky God. He wanted to continuously strike the same spot and sever his neck. Hansen quickly discovered that the speed of his wound ripping was not as fast as Kill Sky God's wound healing. His repeated attacks did not accomplish much. Before the second lance reached that spot, Kill Sky God's wound released some god light and was almost healed. My power really isn't enough to kill an Annihilation class god spirit. Hansen frowned. He was in a bit of a rush. Destiny's tower wanner was getting worse. She was almost going to wake up. The only thing that made Hansen happy was the fact that Destiny's tower was being shaken by Kill Sky God's scary power and wasn't breaking. It did not even get damaged. It was just the power that made it keep bouncing around everywhere. It was moving further away from the battleground. Moaning sounds were heard from someplace within the tower. It sounded as if it was going to crack any second. It was uncertain how long it would last. If I had not borrowed a body and pushed my power to the max by using the strongest god skill, you would have been killed by now already. Kill Sky God looked at Hansen coldly. The big hammer in his hand did not keep attacking. He allowed Hansen's Sky Vine Radish God Lance to keep striking him, but he was still unable to inflict deadly, fatal wounds on him. Even if I cannot make use of all my power, you cannot damage my god spirit body. Let's see how long you can keep it up. Once your power has been exhausted, it will be time for me to kill you. Kill Sky God's voice was so cold that it made one feel a chill deep in their bones. Hansen did not know how long his Super God Spirit Mode will last. This was the first time he had used Super God Spirit Mode as a true god. For now, he did not feel uncomfortable or anything. It was similar to Wana not disturbing him. Super God Spirit Mode should have lasted a long time. If Hansen wanted to leave, Kill Sky God could not stop him. If he left now, Wano would be done for. If he brought Wano with him, the Super God Spirit Mode would be gone. 
that would have made it impossible to flee. Unless it was absolutely necessary, Hansen would not give up Wanner. Besides the fact that he had been taking Wanner with him for very long, even if it was a dog, he would feel emotion toward it. Plus, there were many secrets regarding Wanner that he had yet learned. Hansen had also enjoyed three drinks with Qin Xiao and promised him he would take care of Wanner. He could not just back out now. With things becoming like this, I cannot care too much. I will have to use the Holy Kirin's Holy Spirit to get out of this. Hansen had no other choice. Hansen knew Kill Sky God's real power was not as invincible as he was making it out to be. When his body landed, he did not have an absolute suppressed power. Otherwise, Sky Vine Radish God Lance would not have hurt him. His God skills made his body stronger than a true God class elite. Even with a buff off a God skill, he would have been unable to destroy his body with the Sky Vine Radish God Lance. If he had a buff from the Holy Kirin's Holy Spirit, there was a chance of success. If he used the Holy Kirin's Holy Spirit now, he would expose the fact that Dollar was Hans' senator. Fortunately, no one knew Hansen was human. Even if he exposed himself, the god spirits would not come after him for a while. As for the future, Hansen would just have to wait and see how it all shook out. Katcha. While Hansen prepared to summon the Kirin's Holy Spirit to possess the Sky Vine Radish God Lance, he suddenly heard something crack open far away in space. In the space around, Hansen and Kill Sky God's power broke everything into dust. There was nothing left to break. Hansen heard that sound. He thought it was terrible. He turned around and saw Destiny's tower display a crack. It had probably endured too many hits. Before Hansen reacted, a gold, holy light came out from the crack. There was suddenly a blonde lady rising from the crack. Her blonde hair was waving as much as her clothes were. Wano was sleeping inside Destiny's tower. Now, Wano had become the blonde-haired lady. Her whole body released a weird, blonde light that made her body look like a dream. It did not look real. Wanner looked like Han Sin's super god spirit mode, but it was a bit different. Wanner's eyes were open. Clearly, she had gotten rid of her sleeping mode, but her gold eyes still had no focus. She was like a zombie. Wanner. Wanner. Im. Impossible. How are you still alive? You cannot still be alive. When Kill Sky God saw the blonde Wanner, his face changed. It was like he had just laid eyes on a ghost. Even earlier, when Hansen hit him, he did not have this expression. He still exhibited the pride of a god spirit. After seeing Wanner for a brief moment, he was freaking out. Hansen thought it was strange how he had just lost it like this. Kill Sky God recognized Wanner, which did not make Hansen feel weird. There was an 80% to 90% chance that Kill Sky God was one of the god spirits that descended way back when. It was not a surprise for him to have seen Wanner with the rest of Sacred. Seeing his face, he seemed absolutely terrified of Wanner. That made Hansen feel like it was unbelievable. It all happened in a moment. Wanner came out of Destiny's Tower. Her unfocused eyes fell on Hansen, which made him feel a chill. Cha. Wanner's body suddenly went blurry in front of Hans' senator with Hansen's vision. He was not able to see where she moved. Subconsciously, Hansen fell back. He noticed that Wanner was not going after him. That pretty and soft body of hers went before Kill Sky God. She raised her right arm without any emotion. Her hand was like a knife slashing down from up high. The blonde hair and gold clothes were waving as she struck. Kill Sky God's face looked shocked. His hands were holding a giant hammer. He swung it at Wanner as he fell back. Wanner's hand was full of a golden flame. She continued her downward strike. The giant hammer, which had destroyed everything, was like tofu being cut in half by her hand. Kill Sky God's face was wretched. He was unable to completely fall back. His face had been cut from his forehead to his jaw by Wanner's fingertip. It was like the center of his face had a red line. Chapter 2987 got a god personality again. I was. That strong? Hansen was shocked. The most shocking thing about this situation came later. After Kill Sky God was injured, he was so shocked that he wanted to escape but could not even turn around. Wanner's face displayed zero emotion. Her beautiful body was flickering like a ghost. Her hands were waving as she moved. Since she moved so fast, even with Han Sin's eye power, he only saw Wanner's body appearing and disappearing. Her hands possessed a lot of gold light as she flashed past Kill Sky God. When Kill Sky God turned his body to run, Wanna stopped. Her small body floated in space. 
She slowly turned and looked at Hans Sr. Kill Sky God had only sprinted away about thirty feet before God blood was everywhere. His body was suddenly broken. It was worse than his body being hanged, drawn, and quartered. In the next second, Hansen saw a god light in the sky, but it was hidden by the Big Baron system's Big Baron power. It did not go into space and create a god's sadness. After Kill Sky God's god body was burned away, one part of his upper arm bone remained. That bone was around three feet long. It was shaped like a hammer and pitch black. It appeared very heavy. Hansen thought, it looks like Wana's power and mine are a bit different. The god spirit she killed left a god personality behind. The god spirits I kill leave nothing. Even the god personality was gone. Hansen was not currently in the mood to think. Wana teleported in front of Hans Sr. He gathered up power and looked at Wander with alert eyes. The blonde Wander might not have recognized him. Considering the power she had just put on display, she was not someone Hansen believed he was capable of combating. Wana arrived before Hans Senator the gold fire connected with Hansen's white flame. The two powers melted into each other as if they were connecting. Big brother. Wana looked at Hansen with shock and fell into his arms. Hansen held Wana, which led to their flames extinguishing. It suddenly disappeared, and everything returned to normal. Big brother. Wana misses you. She misses you so much. Hansen looked at Wana, but her eyelids became heavier and heavier. She tried her best to look at Han's sound, but she was unable to fight the sleepiness. She closed her eyes and went asleep. Hansen's expression looked a little distorted. Wanner's situation was very bad. Her life force was almost too weak for him to feel. It seemed as if she would die at any moment. Hansen quickly took out a bottle of Geno fluid and fed it to her, but it had no effect. He summoned the light well lots too, but that did not help Wanner either. If you missed your big brother so much, you must hold on no matter what. If you die, I can never see you again. Hansen picked up Wanner and took Kill Sky God's bone back with him. Nev. Destiny's Tower's tower had a crack that went all the way up to down. It was like it had been broken by someone. Hansen knew that it had not been broken by Kill Sky God. It was Wanner who had broken it while rushing out. Hansen picked up Wander and entered Destiny's Tower. He sorted out the stuff inside. He had a conflicted expression. Everything was there except two people were missing. Ancient Devil and Ancient Abyss Grandmaster were gone. The stone platform and space by Sima were still fine. They were not damaged, but they were gone. I did not expect Ancient Devil would be able to escape, but that is fine by me. Hansen shook his head. He put Wanner inside Destiny's Tower and put Destiny's Tower away. He was holding the Kill Sky God arm bone. Hansen was thinking, right now, I have Evil Lotus God and Sky Armor God's God personality. This will be the third God personality I have received, but Evil Lotus God and Sky Armor God were just destruction class. They cannot compare to an Annihilation class Kill Sky God and his Kill Sky God God personality. Hansen was hesitating because unlike ordinary creatures, he knew the God personality was God Spirit genes. Hansen knew that due to the announcements. Although Hansen was not able to absorb God Spirit genes, he always believed if he was able to absorb other genes, there was no way he could absorb God's spirit genes. Perhaps he had just not yet found a way to absorb the God's spirit genes. It was like before in the sanctuaries when he received super genes. At first, people were not able to absorb them. God's spirit genes might have been similar to that. He was unsure whether or not putting God personalities in God personality armaments could be absorbed. That kill sky god is very powerful. He just ascended and was almost invincible. In the God Temple, he must be even scarier. Ordinarily, I would want to kill him and Moment God, both of whom are in the same class. As I am right now, the chances of me doing that are pretty slim. If I have Kill Sky God's God personality armament, my chances will be much higher. I should go swap it. Hansen made a decision. He then thought, but I do not know what type of God Personality Armament Kill Sky God's God Personality Armament is. I hope it is armor so I can block Moment God's attacks. There is no need for me to end up dead because of her. In Hansen's heart, he knew that Kill Sky God's God Personality Armament had a low chance of providing him with armor. That arm bone would probably not have ended up looking like armor. No matter what it was, having an Annihilation Class God Personality Armament should have helped him a tremendous amount. Hansen collected the arm bone and figured out which direction he needed to go.
He kept going deep into the big barren systems. Since he was already there, he figured he might as well check out the Holy Hall. He wanted to see if Little Flower and Old Cat were back yet. With the Holy Spirit, the darkness did not cause Hansen much trouble or danger. He traveled back to the Holy Palace. He arrived there safely. He was back to being Hansen now. He reached the Holy Palace. When Hansen used the long, bright lantern's light and saw the ruins of the Holy Palace, he was shocked. The Holy Palace had been broken when Hansen was there. Now, the Holy Palace's ruins were dyed black and dry blood. Red Ghost, the eyeless beast, and Old Vulture's giant bodies were lying across the ruins. The wounds on their bodies were solid. Their life forces were gone. The eyeless big beast's body was split in half. Red Ghost had been decapitated, and Old Vulture's feathers had all been plucked. There was a shadow standing on top of the ruin. Someone was holding Annie Mae by the neck. He lifted her up in the air. Annie Mae had no strength to struggle. Her hands clutched the other hands, but she could not get away. Miss. Mister. Andy May saw Hansen enter the radius of the bright, long lantern. She had been hopeless, but now she had a bit of hope. She gathered up all her power and used whatever she had left to shout at Hansen. Be wary of old cat. Chapter 2988 Holy Palace Changing He, Andy May wanted to say something, but a hand squeezed her head. It twisted her head, ripped it off, and threw it to the ground like trash. Annie May's head rolled across the floor. Her eyes were wide open. They were full of misery and appeared as if she did not want to die yet. Hansen stared at the figure and asked, Who are you? Why are you killing them? The figure looked like a human. It looked very young too. The person seemed to be about 20 years old. He was weirdly handsome. He had some weird presence that could not be described. His eyes were very small. They were like the eyes of a fox. A group of useless stuff. They could not even guard the holy palace. What was the point of keeping them alive? The young man licked his lips. He smiled and looked at Han Sr., you were Little Flower's father. I did not expect a guy who did not practice holy body could earn Chin Sho's approval. Hansen looked at that young man and asked, Who are you? You do not need to know who I am, but I must thank you. If you did not break the holy palace and put out all the race lanterns Chin Sho made, I could not have killed those four watchdogs. The young man smiled at Han Sen and went on to say, Now, I just need to kill you and find old cat and the son that has practiced holy body. I will kill them all. I will slay all who place their faith in Qin Xiao. He will never make a comeback. Upon hearing those words, Hansen frowned. Judging from the person's voice, it did not sound like he was with old cat. Why had Annie Mei warned Hansen about old cat before she died? Hansen looked at the young man and asked, Are you an enemy of Qin Xiao? I am, and I am also not. The young man came down from the ruins of the holy palace. What is that supposed to mean? Hansen asked. The young man laughed and said, Qin Xiao treated me like a student. He taught me Gino arts. He gave me resources. I cannot say he is my enemy. The grudge we have stems from the fact he hated me, and he ridiculed me. I think he will never expect that sacred was finally destroyed by me. It sounded like a betrayal. The words naturally flowed from the young man's mouth. It sounded like something he was proud of. Hansen looked at the young man and spoke coldly. I understand what you were saying. You were Sacred's traitor. Hansen had heard about many people betraying Sacred leader before the collapse. The people he used to meet, such as 9000 King and others, were loyal to the end. That was why he forgot about that. What? Have you come to seek vengeance on Qin Shou's behalf? The young man looked at Han Senator, his face bore a smile, but his eyes looked murderous. I have nothing to do with sacred, and I am not interested in seeking revenge on Qin Shou's behalf. Han Sen shook his head. He was not interested in seeking revenge for Qin Shou. When the young man heard that, he laughed incredibly hard and said, Qin Shou, Qin Shou. You were a hero all your life. I did not expect the person you chose, at last, to turn out to be a wimp. You really were blind. After laughing, the young man looked at Han San and said, It is a shame. You and I have no grudge, but you were chosen by Qin Xiao. Cutting weeds without removing the root will result in them growing again. Qin Xiao must have really hated me. How can I let the chosen person remain alive? It looks like you are the one who wants revenge and not Qin Xiao, Hansen coldly said. The young man looked gloomy. His eyes opened wide. 
He was like a bolt of lightning coming before Han Senator. He raised his hand and reached out for Han Sen's neck. Dong. The cause karma knife appeared in Han Sen's hands. The knife was burning with Holy Spirit power. It struck the young man's hands. Hansen felt power come through the knife. His body lost control, which made him fall back. His legs were on the stone floor. The push made him cleave two trenches. The young man coldly said, that is because Qin Xiao is dead. He does not have a chance to care about revenge. Really? Hansen clutched his knife. His body entered the mind of a chess game. His whole body blended into the broken universe. His eyes were like darkness as they peered at the young man. You would not understand. You were just an ignorant, poor worm that was used by Qin Xiao. The young man seemed to think of something. The murderous look appeared even harsher. He laughed. I am afraid you have no idea what Qin Xiao was like. You are still dreaming that you can replace him to become the new sacred leader. I can tell you that is impossible. It does not matter if it is you or your son who practices holy body. You are all just chess pieces. Qin Xiao would do anything to get what he wants. Your life, in his eyes, is worse than just one of his sister's hairs. After being used, you will be thrown away like trash. Hansen winked and said, It sounds like Qin Xiao did something bad to you. The young man's face suddenly looked very contorted. It even looked twisted. He gnashed his teeth and smiled. It was nothing. I was just like you. I was made a chess piece. I was a test subject. But I am different from you. You are all chess pieces. You are just lab rats. You cannot change your fate all the way to the grave, but I am different. I escaped the fate of being a chess piece. I became a player and defeated Qin Xiao. I am now scrubbing away Qin Xiao's last hope. He will never come back. Even in hell, all he can do is cry without hope. While the young man spoke, his teeth chomped hard. He suddenly laughed very hard. Can. So, what was Qin Xiao's last hope? The Holy Spirit? Hansen looked at the cause karma knife that was burning with Holy Spirit power. The young man looked at him with disdain. That half-broken product is not Qin Xiao's hope. I want the gene prototype. Qin Xiao must have found a way to give you or your son the gene prototype. He died, so he had no choice. I just need to kill you both, and Qin Xiao will become a loser. Hansen pretended he had never heard of it before. He looked shocked and asked, Gene reason? What is that? The young man was already 15 feet away from Hans' senator. He had not stopped his advance. He walked toward Hans and saying, Very funny. You are Qin Shou's chess piece, yet you do not even know what a gene prototype is. If we have the same problem, can you explain it? Hansen did not move as he spoke. Shut up, the young man shouted. I am a replacement that Qin Shou created, and what he put a lot of effort into. Who are you? You are not like me. His body sped up like a ghost in front of Han Sr. Hansen suddenly saw the young man's hand move. He felt the whole of space flip as he faced off against the young. Tom slowed down, which made Hansen slow. Today, I will let you know what a real holy body is. I will show you what is better than Qin Xiao. The young man let out an evil laugh as he grabbed Hans Sen's neck. Chapter 2989 Copied Body Dong the young man's hand almost touched Han Sen's neck when a knife light suddenly blocked it. The knife light and hand light hit each other. It left a bloody mark on the young man's hand. Sky Palace's under the sky knife skill is quite amazing. The young man looked at the bloody mark on his hand and smiled even harder. He swung his hand. The wound on his hand was gone. Hansen dove into under the sky mind. He did not move. He just looked at the young man. His knife went down. I want to see how much you can endure. The young man's hand changed. Time and space also changed. Hansen's knife was slower. His place was swapped. The time and space power was similar to the legendary holy body. Back when Little Flower joined the Geno being scroll fight, he had displayed this power. Hansen's body's time and space kept twisting, but the young man could not break Hansen's knife skill. He already dodged Hansen's attack. He made Hansen slower but he could not hurt Han Sr. Han Sen's place was changed, but he was not afraid. He still slashed toward an area where there was no one. When the young man wanted to attack Han Sen's weak spot, a knife light appeared in space and stopped his hand. The young man's face looked more terrible. He noticed there was something wrong. The space around Han Sen was twisted, but Han Sen had already cast knife lights to stop his attacks. He was being stopped by Han Sen's knife lights. 
It looks like your holy body is just like that, yet you want to exceed Qin Xiao. Pa. Hansen waved his knife as he spoke. Hansen was actually confused. The demon lady and the others said that only Little Flower practiced talents of the holy body, but there were obviously others who had practiced Qin Xiao's holy body. The holy body was not as rare as the demon lady led him to believe. That was why Hansen used words to offend the young man. He hoped the young man would accidentally spill the beans on some of the holy body's secrets. That is just the beginning. The young man looked mad. His eyes turned a weird blue color. Nothing but blue was visible in his eyes. His body's blood vessels were showing. Even the very small blood vessels were like small dragonflies and little snakes around his snake. His blood was starting to show. Blue blood. Hansen was a bit shocked by this, so he looked right at the young man. As the blood changed, the young man's presence grew scarier. It was like an angry ghost that would eat everything as fuel for its power was coming out from hell. Yes, I am a blue blood. Qin Xiao used his genes for a blueprint and combined it with better genes. That is why I am here. Although he did not admit it, it is a truth that can never be denied. I am greater than he was. I should be the real Qin Xiao. I should be the real sacred leader. The young man's eyes looked a little insane. Hansen suddenly understood a lot. Back then, Qin Xiao tried to copy people but gave up for some reason. Hansen thought this young man must have been the failed test subjects that Qin Xiao abandoned. Despite what was done to them, they betrayed sacred. He looked at the young man's face and noted how much he looked like Qin Xiao. He was very similar. Although they looked alike, because Qin Xiao's presence was so special, the young man did not possess the presence that Qin Xiao had. Thus, Hansen had not noticed how similar they were. Boom. While Hansen was checking him out, the young man's flames turned solid. His whole body was like a transparent crystal. That is. That is a god spirit's presence. Hansen frowned as he looked at the young man. What came out from him was the special presence only given off by god spirits. Yes. I have Qin Shou's genes, and I have an Annihilation class god spirit's genes. I am stronger than Qin Xiao. I am the real leader of this world. The young man's body was becoming stronger. The armor he had was vaporized by his presence. His naked body was revealed. His body was like a crystal. One was able to see the blue blood coursing through his body. The blue blood power and God's spirit mixed together made his presence very strange. It was like he was a human but not a human. It was like he was a god but not a god. If you are so good, why did not rule the universe after Qin Xiao was killed? Hansen deliberately looked at him with disdain. That is Qin Xiao's fault, the young man crazily said. If he had given me the gene prototype, I would have ruled the world. Those from sacred and the god spirits would be crying before my feet. Hansen thought the young man was very stable and perhaps end up leaking a secret or two. He quickly asked, So, what is the gene prototype? It is. It is Qin Xiao's fault, the young man crazily spoke. His eyes were full of energy. He raised his head and roared to the sky. His scary power was like a volcano erupting. The body only had blue blood. In a moment, the blue blood seemed like it was burning. It made the whole body a transparent blue. The flames on the body were blue too. Hansen frowned. He was a little bit worried. He was afraid Little Flower might turn out like this young man. He had used all the power he had in the Alliance to search for Little Flower inside the sanctuaries. But there had yet to be any news of him. That made him very worried. Qin Xiao. Qin Xiao. What are you doing? Hansen thought Qin Xiao was scarier than these god spirits. At least god spirits had their rules and principles to follow. Qin Xiao had just done what he pleased. He had not concerned himself with the consequences of his actions. No one was able to stop him. He had no moral compass. To be without rules was a very scary thing, and Qin Xiao was the scariest demon in the deep abyss of not having any rules. Killing God's spirits, using gene technology to mix races. Even the holy beasts he grew had their horns taken and souls claimed. The genes were used to replicate people. He went against nature. Qin Xiao had done many scary things. It was much scarier than what a god spirit did. The young man, who looked like a blue crystal god spirit, stared at Han Sr. Anything related to Qin Xiao should die. He slowly spoke each word. When he was done, he reached out his hand and continued looking at Han Senator. Suddenly, the blue light was released. It twisted all of space. 
Hansen felt like his body was going left and right in the time and space power. Somehow, he was in front of the young man. The young man's hand grabbed him by the neck. Die. The young man's face looked murderous and full of rage. His hand was full of power. The blue light was spilling. He was going to break Hans Sen's neck. Chapter 2990 Love Killing Pigs Ping. Hans Sen's body was like a sponge being squeezed by the young man's hand. Suddenly, another version of his body appeared behind the young man. A weird power movement was coming out of Hans Sen's fingertips. It tapped the back of the young man's head. The young man coldly laughed. If it was four holy spirits combined in one, perhaps it would work against me a little. With just the Kirin's holy spirit, you cannot damage my god's spirit holy body at all. The young man's expression quickly changed. He noticed that Hansen had not used the holy Kirin's power. He had just been tapped on the back of the head. After that hit, Hansen was sent flying a thousand miles. The young man turned around. He coldly looked at Hansen and said, I said, I am better than Qin Shio. I am the true immortal god's spirit holy body. Your power does nothing to me. Hansen's finger had not even hurt his scalp. Hansen remained silent. He quietly looked at the young man. Stop wasting time. After I kill you, I will reunite you with your son in the pits of hell. I will make sure you don't end up too lonely there. The young man raised a hand. He wanted to combine the power of his holy body and the god spirit power. When he raised his arm, the young man's eyes looked smaller. He saw that his finger was uncontrollably shaking. It was steadily shaking faster. It was like his finger was playing piano in the air. It was not just his hands. The young man quickly discovered that his entire body was shaking. His muscles were twisting, and his blood vessels were jumping. He was shaking more than a person with Parkinson's disease. His body was powerfully shaking, but the young man could not feel anything wrong. It was like the body that was shaking was not his. The young man brought his hands together, but he could not stop from shaking. He screamed at Hans Sr., you. What did you do to me? Nothing. I just don't like trouble. Fighting powerful creatures can be tiring. So that is why I prefer turning powerful creatures into pigs. Then, I kill them as they squeal. It is easier that way. Hansen looked at the young man calmly. He lifted his cause karma knife. The holy flame on the knife was wildly shaking. What are you? How dare you talk like that directly in front of me? Die already. The young man flashed a blue light. He was going to grab Han Sr. Just as he moved, his bones and flesh appeared to recede. The blue god light was fading away. The crystal god body was suddenly smaller. He now had a common body. How is that? Impossible. My god spirit holy body, the young man was in complete shock. He peered at his hands. His hands were already leaving god spirit mode. His entire god spirit body started to wilt soon after. His life force and presence were shrinking. He dropped down from true god level to butterfly class. Right now, aren't you just a pig for me to kill? Hansen raised his knife and swung it. Many knife streams were in the sky. They moved with Hansen like a galaxy going into the young man's body. Arc. The young man forced himself to use his holy body's time and space power, but butterfly time and space powers were not enough to block Hansen's stream of knives. Pang. The young man's body was hit by the knife stream. He exploded with a blue light. A trail of blue light quickly went into the darkness. In the darkness, the young man gnashed his teeth and yelled, Hansen, I will kill you. Hansen ran into the darkness, but he could not see that young man's body again. He frowned. Hansen looked back. He saw a pile of blue metal chips on the floor. Hansen used his purple eye butterfly to take a look at the chips. He quickly discovered that those pieces belonged to a metal doll. It had to have been a treasure for copying one's body for survival. What a shame I did not kill him. Hansen looked at the bodies of the demon lady and the others. He waved his hand, and their bodies were collected in Destiny's Tower. Hansen did not like them much. If it was not for Little Flower, he would have killed them while he was destroying the Holy Palace. Now that they were dead, Hansen was not going to be sad. They were true god class bodies. Hansen wanted to take them back and see Little Flower's reaction when he saw them. If Little Flower had no objections, Hansen would happily turn them into Geno fluid. He looked at the ruins of the Holy Palace and departed the Big Baron Systems. After leaving the Big Baron Systems, he teleported back to Space Garden. Hansen thought, 
Super God's spirit body and super spank are powerful, but I am not sure what power that was. After killing the God's spirit, they will be destroyed and not leave anything behind. To me, that is not beneficial. I will be unable to get God's spirit genes or God's spirits. I also won't be able to get God's spirit armaments. I will be unable to make myself stronger. He thought he should kill low-level God's spirits first to find the God personality armament that was suitable. Then, he could move on with saving Golden Growler. After returning to Space Garden, Hansen saw 9000 King. He had delivered the Xenogeneic genes to Space Garden, which was how he had avoided being killed. Hansen told him about the Demon Lady and the others being killed. He also told him about the young man. When 9000 King heard all of that, he was infuriated. He gnashed his teeth and said, He is a traitor. Do you know him? Hansen asked. How could I not know him? He was the master's favorite student. The master even gave him a name. They shared the same name even. His name is Chin Lan. Master treated him like a son. His reputation was higher than the ten generals. I did not expect him to betray everything. Nine Thousand King looked very angry. He wanted to skin Chin Lan alive and get rid of Sacred's traitors. Hansen asked Nine Thousand King about Chin Lan, but Nine Thousand King did not know much. He did not know Qin Lan was a gene clone of Qin Xiao. He did not know anything. The Xenogeneic genes 9000 King brought surprised Han Senator there were many true god class and butterfly class Xenogeneic genes. There was enough there to make little angel true god class. Hansen thought, the leftover resources can make someone else true god class too. Who should I give them to first? Aside from little angel, who was able to combine herself with him, the others could help him out in less obvious ways. It was hard for them to match him. There is no rush with this matter. I'll just leave things as they are for now. I have to put a god personality into a god personality armament first. Hansen found a chance to be dollar again. He took the god personality to the god palace. Chapter 2991 Getting a God Personality Hansen had three god personalities. They were the Destruction Class Sky Armor God and Evil Lotus God, as well as the Annihilation Class Kill Sky God. Hansen went to Evil Lotus God's God Temple. He wanted to see what type of armament Evil Lotus God's God Personality Armament was. Why is Dollar here again? Did he not just kill Moment God? Maybe he is a bloodthirsty mongrel. I don't know what level of God Spirit he is challenging. It should be at least a Disaster Class 1. He killed a Disaster Class Moment God, so there is no way he is challenging something of a lower level. While everyone was discussing it, Hansen walked into Evil Lotus God's God Temple. All the audience felt a little weird. What is going on? Why is Dollar challenging a destruction class god spirit? No. That god temple must be shut down right now. He cannot challenge it. Why is he in there? What is going on? After a while, everyone saw the god flag on the god temple start to shine. Before long, it went dim. The god spirit must have been killed. Hansen quickly came out from evil lotus god's god temple and went to sky armor god's god temple. The same thing happened again. Hansen quickly emerged from Sky Armor God's God Temple. Holy SH asterisk T. What is happening? Dollar can enter a shutdown God Temple and slay the spirits inside? Is he cheating? Ordinary creatures did not know the difference between God Temples and Sealed Temples. They were all frozen. He is not leaving. Dollar is headed for the God Temple upstairs. He is not going to challenge a disaster God Spirit again, is he? No. Dollar already challenged a disaster class god temple group. He is still going up. Does he want to challenge an annihilation class god spirit? He went in. He really went in. While everyone was watching, Hansen pushed open the shutdown kill sky god temple. He walked inside. The god temple's door closed itself. Like the god spirits that descended died outside the god temples, only someone holding the god spirit's god personality can enter. Normal creatures did not kill descended god spirits. They did not know this method to enter the god temple. Before Hansen entered evil lotus god and sky armor god's god temples, he killed the defenseless god spirits inside. They did not have god spirits, but he had received the god personality armaments. Evil lotus god's god personality armament was a purple crystal lotus flower-shaped ring. Sky armor god's god personality armament was a half-body armor. It was different from what Hansen expected. He had been hoping for a weapon. Hansen did not try out what kind of power those two god personality armaments wielded. 
He went to kill Sky God Temple and saw Kill Sky God's empty shell god body standing atop the god altar. He looked very powerful but without anger. Hansen already had the experience, so he knew it was just a useless empty shell that could not fight back. Hansen's eyes scanned Kill Sky God. If he wanted to kill a god spirit, he had to destroy his god base. Otherwise, the god spirit's healing power would have been too strong for him to destroy. Evil Lotus God was a low-level god spirit. Hansen was able to slash open his god body and find the god base with ease. An Annihilation class god spirit like Kill Sky God was different. It wouldn't be as easy for him. Fortunately, Hansen saw Kill Sky God be killed by Wanner. He saw it clearly. He knew exactly where the god base was, which saved him a lot of trouble. He was not going to use Super Spank this time. He was afraid of destroying everything and then not being able to claim the god personality armament. In the end, he summoned his Sky Vine Radish God Lance and pierced toward Kill Sky God's god body. The Sky Vine Radish God Lance was thrust into the empty shell that was Kill Sky God's god body's chest. Sparks erupted everywhere. The strike only damaged his skin a bit. He did not even bleed. Kill Sky God's real god body is stronger than the universe god body he used when he descended. Hansen knew he would be unable to break a god base like that. He hesitated and summoned the Kirin's Holy Spirit. He made it possess the Sky Vine Radish God Lance. The Sky Vine Radish God Lance suddenly burned with white fire. Hansen struck again. This time, the tip of the lance managed to perforate it a lot. It also ended up getting stuck within the muscles and bones. Hansen thrust and thrust. He was busy for quite a while when he finally pierced through the blood and the bones inside. He saw the chest releasing a black and smoky heart. That is it. Hansen's thrust the heart. He noticed the heart was even harder than the god bones and god flesh that had kept it protected. Hansen held the sky vine radish god lance and attacked it for half an hour before finally being able to pierce through the heart. He wiped away the sweat that had accumulated on his forehead and said, Luckily, that guy possessed someone when he descended to chase me. If he had used this god body to fight me, my fight would have been harder. After completely destroying the heart, Hansen quickly brought out the Kill Sky God arm bone. The god body turned a light substance and headed toward Hansen's own arm bone. It all went into his bones. The black light of the bones grew stronger. It was floating inside Hansen's hand. When all the light substance melted into his bones, the bone light looked dim. After the light was gone, Hansen saw the arm bone become a black bone hammer. The bone hammer was far too cruel. The hammer was just a bit bigger than a fist. It was like a rubber hammer in a house. Why is this hammer so different when compared to the hammer Kill Sky God wielded? Kill Sky God's hammer was so much more powerful. What is this tiny thing for? Hansen complained, but then an announcement played. Annihilation class got personality armament received, Kill Sky Hammer. Hansen looked at the Kill Sky Hammer. The name was very powerful and overbearing, but it looked very small. It looked like a black bone hammer. The head was a cylinder. Both sides of the hammer head had a god symbol. It looked old and mysterious, but Hansen did not know what the two god symbols meant. When he and Kill Sky God fought, the big hammer had those two god symbols too. They likely represented his power. Just like before, Kill Sky Hammer had a message in Hansen's head. Kill Sky Hammer Annihilation Class got personality armament. Seeing Kill Sky God get resurrected, Hansen did not dare remain. He put the Kill Sky Hammer into his Sea of Soul and swiftly departed Kill Sky God Temple. All the races of the universe were looking at the Kill Sky God Temple. They saw him emerge from the God Temple right when the God Flag flashed. Then, it went dim. Clearly, a God Spirit had died inside the God Temple. Really? Dollar killed an Annihilation Class God Spirit, and the Temple was closed down. This seems fake to me. Does he play like that? All the creatures opened their eyes wide. They were not able to believe it. Hansen had just exited the zone of the god temples when he saw Bai King floating in the air. He was laughing at him. Chapter 2992 Holy Body Geno Fluid We must find a place to talk, Bai King said to Hansen with a merry laugh. Okay. Hansen wanted to know why Bai King saved him earlier, as well as why Bai King was happy letting him claim all the benefits he wanted. Bai King did not say anything. He merely led the way. Hansen believed Bai King would lead him back to the Extreme King, but he did not. Bai King stopped on an asteroid. He then just sat on the crystallized asteroid. He smiled and waved at Hans Sr. Sid. 
Hansen sat down and asked, Why have you come looking for me? Bai King pointed at the god palace in space and said, You must have now seen the power possessed by an annihilation class god spirit. If you are going solo, it will be impossible to win in your fights at the god temple. If we combine our forces, perhaps we stand a chance. What do you think? Hansen checked Bai King out. He did not answer his question. He quietly asked, Why me? Give me a reason. Bai King seemed to know that Hansen wanted to ask that. He smiled and said, It is very simple. It is because of it. Bai King stroked a ring on his finger. It was a metal ring with a black gem on it. There was no special power possessed by it. When one looked at it, one would believe it was an ordinary, decorative ring. Hansen had a closer look and thought, This black gem looks like the black crystal horizontal evil gave me. Seeing Hansen's reaction, Bai King smiled. He stroked the black crystal on the ring and said, This ring is a treasure given to us by our Alpha. He brought it back from Sacred. The Alpha used to say that if a creature can make this ring create a reaction, the Extreme King must help that creature in any way they can. Only that creature can make the Extreme King free and powerful. Has it reacted to me? Hansen asked with a frown. Hansen did not believe Bai King was a person that listened to his Alpha. To become a king, all of them had incredible confidence and faith in themselves. They would not have listened to the ramblings of an old alpha and listened to an outsider like Hansen, who was their enemy. Bai King nodded and said, Yes, this ring has been passed through many generations of our race, but it has never reacted before. We started to think that whatever Mr. Alpha said about it was not true. Over the billions of years waiting for it, the time has come. We waited billions of years and are now finally here. When you are next to me, the ring reacts. It is so deep in the soul that only the person wearing the ring can feel it. It is so strong and clear. It was at that moment I knew you were the person the extreme king had been waiting on for billions of years. Hansen looked at Bai King and did not speak. That story would not have only existed in a storybook. Hansen had a hard time believing that someone would remain that loyal to anything. It was not like the world did not have anyone loyal, such as 9000 King the demon lady, and the others. They were loyal to Qin Xiao, and Hansen believed they were. The extreme king was different. It was easy for one person to remain loyal. For everyone to remain loyal generation after every generation was not something Hansen could believe. After three generations, one tended to forget their ancestors. If one person developed in a foreign country, no one would really remember their motherland three generations later. The extreme king had been going on for many generations. If they said they still believed in the Alpha, whoever believed it must have had a problem in their brain. Bai King seemed to see through what Han Sen was thinking. He stroked his ring and said, Of course, Mr. Alpha's speech was not the main reason I treated you so nicely. It was because, in that speech, you were the key to the fate of the entire Extreme King. That means I have to treat you so well. What key? Han Sen asked. The extreme bodies of the Extreme King come from sacred leaders test subjects. It was something called Holy Body Geno Fluid. If the Holy Body Geno Fluid was a success, then all the creatures can activate their potential and gene origin power so that their genes could evolve. Then, every creature could get their super holy body. After speaking, Bai King looked at Han Senator. It seemed as if he wanted to ask something, but he did not ask anything. He continued with what he was talking about. Ever since Sacred collapsed, the Holy Body Geno Fluid has not succeeded. Our Alpha used the half-finished Holy Body Geno Fluid and received the special body. He used that special body to survive amidst the chaos and keep the Extreme King alive. Is that special body is a king body? Hansen asked. Bai King nodded and said, Yes, it is a king body. That special body plays a big part in genes, but it is different from normal genes. In the beginning, the Extreme King people were able to activate their king bodies. Some geniuses were able to activate their king bodies by the time they were 15 or 16 years old. Everyone activated a different kind of body. As time passed, the bloodline kept becoming lighter and lighter. Now, the extreme king people can only activate their king bodies by the time they reach king class. Most of the extreme king cannot activate their king bodies anymore. Hansen looked at the ring and asked, What does any of that have to do with this ring? Bai King put the ring down and placed it in front of Han Sr. According to what the Alpha told us, that ring is a tool for testing King bodies. It will only work for a successful holy body. Hansen took the ring and placed it in his hand. 
that very normal ring suddenly made his soul shake. It seemed as if it was able to make the black gem inside Hansen moan and groan. Hansen kept stroking the gem in the ring and thought, it is very amazing, but I feel the black gem in the ring is different from the black crystal. Mr. Alpha believed Sacred Leader had a backup plan, even for a time after this death. We believed someone would take up the mantle to proceed with his research on the holy body Geno fluid. We just needed to hold on to that ring and wait until the real holy body Geno fluid came out. At that time, our king bodies would be perfected. It would be a perfect holy body. It would not be like a king body that becomes a little harder to reach as time goes by. By king looked at Han Sin as if his eyes were on fire. If you want to get the holy body Geno fluid from me, you are wrong. I have never used holy body Geno fluid, and I don't know to make that stuff. After saying that, Hansen threw the ring back at Bai King. Bai King picked up the ring, smiled, and said, We can talk about this another time. Today, I look for you so we can cooperate for the killing of an Annihilation class god spirit. Are you interested? Hansen knew Bai King must have something more to say. He stayed quiet a moment before asking, Which Annihilation class god spirit do you want to kill? Moment God. Bai King slowly said those two words. Chapter 2993 United Rain slid down the roof. It landed on a stone board and created some bubbles. Looking outside, there was an old house at the peak of a mountain. There were also lots of other mountains. The rain created a layer of mist that draped the mountains. Crunch. The rain was very heavy. The door of the old house opened. Because the house was so old, the door made sharp noises. Even the sound of the heavy rain was not able to keep it down. The big door of the old house was pushed open. The first thing that appeared was an elegant pair of red high heels. Next, there was a white, smooth, jade leg and a red chi pal. A woman was wearing a red chi pal. She was holding a red umbrella. She walked into the house with her body wagging seductively. Her hair was like a cloud. Fortune teller, how long are you going to hide? The red-clothed woman with the red umbrella walked into the center of the old yard. She looked at what was in the house and spoke her words like a ghost. Her voice was soft but the rain still could not hide it. The room had a door with flower carvings on it. It was pushed open. An old man stepped out with a flag. His other hand clutched a wine gourd. He was sitting on a broken square table. After taking a sip of alcohol, he looked at the red-clothed woman, who was outside, and said, If I were able to hide for one hour, I would hide for one hour. If I could hide for one more second, I would hide for one more second. I would rather survive for as long as possible than be dead. If I can live a bit longer, I will live a bit longer. The rain was too much. The umbrella was very low, so one was not able to see what the red-clothed woman looked like. Yet her ridiculously curvy body and long black hair, which looked like a waterfall, were very eye-catching. One may not have been able to see her face, but one could recognize her. I am afraid you would prefer death compared to living. The woman chillingly said as she stood in the rain. The old man laughed and said, That means you are here to collect my life. It depends on whether you are accurate or not, the red-clothed woman said. That will determine if I take your life. The old man picked up his gourd and had another sip of alcohol. He squinted his eyes as he asked, So was I accurate or not? You were accurate but also not accurate, the red-clothed woman replied. I really don't understand what you were saying. The old man laughed as he asked, which is accurate, and which is not accurate. The red-clothed woman was silent a moment before saying, the prediction you did for my master was very accurate. The god palaces appeared again, but the other half is not accurate. The god palaces did not break through. They still suppress a full sky. The fortune-telling old man laughed. Master is in too much of a rush. It is not time yet. There is only a month left, the red-clothed woman said. Even an annihilation god temple has yet to be broken. I do not see how the Geno Hall will be broken in a month. When the time comes, you will understand. The fortune-telling old man looked dull. He looked at the red-clothed woman and said, But I suggested it first. Your master needs to do as the old man says. If there is no mistake, the prediction will come true. I am here for that, the red-clothed woman said. My master does not understand why he must do that. What does it have to do with breaking the god palaces? That person has the ability, but he has never reached that level. With his power, he cannot break the god palace. Predicting someone's fate is not easy. 
The old man traded his whole life to get this result. About the progress, I, the old man, cannot predict it all. If you do not believe the old man, you do not have to do it. The fortune-telling old man spoke as if he did not care. I hope you are right. Otherwise, you should know that if you make the master mad, even that guy in the Geno Hall will not save you. From now on, you stay here. Until that day comes, you can predict your life. You can't blame others. The red-clothed woman turned around and left after speaking. In the rain, she walked until the rain covered all vision of her body. The old man squinted his eyes and looked at the sky full of rain. He said to himself, If I did not want to, do you guys think you can really find me and trap me here? You really underestimate me, Hanjinji. Huh, While he was speaking, the old man was holding the wine gourd and the cloth, which had the word destiny written down. He walked out of the living room and headed for the yard behind the old house. The raindrops dripped off the old man, wetting his clothes and hair. Only the cloth that told one's fortune did not touch any water. It was like it was immune to the rain. The old man walked to the farthest part of the yard, which was the highest point of the mountain. He waved his hand and walked a few circles in the yard. After a while, he calculated something. He paused for a bit before placing the cloth into the gap of the stone board. He walked back a few steps and looked at the cloth. He fixed the angle and position. With a look of satisfaction, he said, The end is not the end of fate. I, Han Jinji, cannot change fate, but I will not let that moment be the end. After that, the old man walked back into the living room. He laid on the broken bed and yawned. He quickly fell asleep. Hansen and Bai King spoke for a while. Hansen then left the asteroid field. Bai King wanted to kill Moment God. It did not seem like a mere coincidence. He knew the relationship between Hansen and Golden Growler, so he must have known Hansen was planning to save Golden Growler. Bai King had also mentioned he had a way to break the Time God powers that had claimed Golden Growler which would allow Golden Growler to be set free. He could then use Golden Growler's power to fight Moment God. After everything came together, Bai King planned to kill Moment God. Bai King did have a request. After Moment God was killed, he wanted to be the one to take the God personality armament. Hansen did not have a problem with that. He lacked the confidence for killing Moment God by himself. If it worked, he was fine with giving Bai King the God personality armament. And by King's plan, he needed to have Dollar do it. He also needed to cooperate with Hans Senator that very much troubled Hans Sr. By King only knew Dollar was the holy baby. He did not know Dollar was Hansen too. He saw Hansen go to save Golden Growler, and he agreed with Hansen's power too. He asked Dollar to contact Hansen so that he could chip in and help them out. Hansen thought by King knew his secret, which is why he asked him. After by King's explanation, he knew he had no clue. Bai King only knew Dollar was the Holy Baby and that the Holy Baby came from Space Garden. Thus, he guessed that Dollar was a good friend of Han Sen and wanted him to contact Han Sr. Bai King never imagined a Crystallizer and a Xenogeneic would have been the same person. Where am I going to find a Han Sen for him? Han Sen had a wry smile. Although Space Garden had many elites, none of them had developed fully. He could not find anyone who was able to disguise himself as Han Sen or Dollar. Chapter 2994 Finishing Wish Back in Space Garden, Hansen had been troubled by the situation. Although he was able to use Hansen's identity to reject the proposal, Hansen had tried his hardest to save Golden Growler. This was a good opportunity. If he rejected the offer, Bai King might grow suspicious. Although Dollar and Hansen's look different, ordinary people would not suspect them as being the same. Unfortunately, people like Bai King knew Dollar was the holy baby. If Dollar and Hansen were not able to show up at the same time, he could start thinking things weren't the way he presumed them to be. Hansen thought, this is far too troublesome for me, but I have no choice. I have to decline the offer. He was not able to think of an adequate solution. If he waited any longer for other humans and spirits to develop, by the time he was true God, he could find someone else to disguise themselves as him. Right now, that was too difficult. Beezy's tea. Beezy's tea. While Hansen was thinking, he heard a buzzing noise. It was like something was rapidly flapping its wings next to his ears. He looked closer. He did not know when it had appeared, but there was a small bee next to him. Hansen thought it was weird. How was a Xenogeneic be able to fly there? Where he lived had the protection of a Bicema. A Xenogeneic of that level could not bypass the Bicema. Pang. The little bee turned into smoke, 
and a beautiful little girl fell out. She fell right into Hansen's arms. Hansen discovered it was Bauer who had fallen out. Bauer? She was wearing a big pair of sunglasses. Bauer was clinging to Hansen's neck. She laughed and asked, Dad, where have you been lately? Why don't you play with Bauer anymore? I have recently. Hansen thought of something. He slapped his legs and switched the topic of conversation. How could I forget about the sunglasses? In the next moment, Hansen developed rabid excitement. He quickly picked up Bauer and asked, Bauer, can you use these glasses to look like Dad? Bauer tilted her head with confusion as she asked, I can, but why would I want to look like you? Don't ask me that, Hansen said. Just quickly tell me how long you can become me for. 1. Bauer thought for a moment and said, Your body of energy is strong. If I want to become you, it will cost me a lot of power. It will last around one hour. One hour? That is almost enough. Hansen was quiet a moment and then said, Try becoming dad now. Bauer was very nice. She used her sunglasses to skin Hans Senator not long after. She successfully turned into Hans Senior. Can you use this? Hansen reached out his hand. His hand had the flame of the Xian Yellow Sutra. Like this? Bauer reached out her hand. Her hand was just like his. She had the Xian Yellow Sutra's flame. Hansen was very happy. He used a few Geno Arts. He soon found out the Geno Arts Bauer could use were his Xenogenic Geno Arts. They included Blood Pulse Sutra. Xian Yellow Sutra, and Jade Skin. She was able to use those Geno Arts. The Dongshin Sutra and the story of genes were something she was unable to cast. Hansen's heart jumped. He transformed into Xenogenic Battle Body Mode and told Bauer, What about this? Can you look like me right now? Bauer used her sunglasses and scanned him again. She successfully turned into the Hansen Xenogenic Mode. Like before, while she was in Xenogenic Mode, she was only able to use Jade Skin and Blood Pulse Sutra. She was still unable to use the Dongshan Sutra and the Story of Genes. Regarding the Super God Spirit Mode, no matter what mode she was in, Bauer could not make use of it. Hansen thought, it's just enough. Bauer can use Xenogenic Mode to disguise herself as Dollar, and I can come out representing myself Han Sr. He gave Bauer the Evil Lotus Ring, Skybone Armor and kill Skyhammer to see if she could effectively use them. Bauer used the Evil Lotus Ring and Skybone Armor. The Evil Lotus Ring shone with a purple light. It turned into a purple shadow that covered her body. This was the Evil Lotus by Sima. It had good resistance to every power. It was good stuff for the purpose of surviving. The Skybone Armor had a knife light. It was like many knife lights protecting Bauer. The Skybone Armor was a very rare armament that could attack and defend. The knife light protected the body to provide powerful defense, and the knife light was also like a saw that could strike things. It was very powerful. The kill sky hammer was able to break space in a single hit. The power it possessed was ridiculous. Any Bicema would break under the kill sky hammer. When Bauer enters Xenogenic mode, she is very powerful. With these three god personality armaments in me next to her, she should be fine. She will just leave if anything bad happens. Hansen thought this was doable. He explained things to her once and asked if she wanted to take part. Bauer can become Dollar Dad. That will be so fun. Bauer will love it. Bauer looked very excited. Moment God's power is unpredictable, Hansen told Bauer. You need to be careful. Listen to my commands. You will enter the God Temple later, and you will be the first one to leave. You cannot risk fighting Moment God. Just pretend and swing the hammer a few times. Your father has got this. Little Angel had been drinking Geno fluid by the gallon, and she was almost maxed out. She still probably would not catch up and be at what was required for the fight in that god temple just yet. The next day, Hansen had to meet up with Fox Queen. He became Dollar and wore the Sky God crown. He returned to his God of Wealth temple. The God of Wealth temple had just opened. Fox Queen secretly came before the God temple. While still outside, she said, I am Fox Queen. Please. Let me see you, Mr. God of Wealth. Come in. Hansen stood atop his altar. He looked very serious when he spoke. Greetings, Mr. After Fox Queen entered the temple, she bowed. What I promised you is possible, Hansen coldly said. Were you doubting my power? I would never dream of doing that. It's just the Nine Spin Destiny Mirror is too important to the Fox race. That is why I feel very nervous. Please forgive me. Fox Queen was very scared as she kowtowed. At the same time, she was very excited. 
Humph. Take it. Hansen's heart jumped. The nine-spin destiny mirror appeared in the air. It flew toward Fox Queen. When Fox Queen had the nine-spin destiny mirror in her hands, the Sky God crown displayed a message in Hansen's head. Wish fulfilled. Received 300 lifespan. An additional requirement master and slave contract is available. Many lifespan years flew out of Fox Queen and went toward Hans Senator Hans and witnessed his lifespan increase. He had a lifespan of another 300 years. His total lifespan was almost 3,000 years now. Hansen also saw that Fox Queen's forehead had a mark that said, God of Wealth's Wealth. It had some special connection to the Sky God Crown. Chapter 2995 United to Fight the God Temple Fox Queen looked sincere as she said, Mr. Extreme Kings by Wuxiang has been chasing me nonstop. I cannot beat him. He will kill me sooner or later, and I will be unable to serve you. Hansen thought, Damn you, Fox Queen. You are a servant, yet you are still a conniving conspirator. You want to use me to get rid of Bai Wuxiang for you. Hansen's heart jumped. Suddenly, the God of Wealth mark on Fox Queen's forehead flashed. Fox Queen immediately held her head. With her will, she was unable to withstand the pain. She started rolling across the floor. In a moment, her face looked terribly pale. Her green veins were on display. Her eyes were sticking out of their sockets. It was terrible. It looked as if she was going blow up at any moment. Mr. Mr. Mercy. Fox Queen was begging. Hansen turned the God of Wealth mark off. He looked at Fox Queen and said, You are my servant. You listen to whatever I say. You speak only when you were spoken to. Mr. I know that I was wrong. Fox Queen quickly straightened herself up and bowed. In her heart, she was thinking, Old fart, do not think you can control me forever. If I hadn't discovered a way to break this, I would not have allowed you to take control of me for a time. Olio. Hansen took out something for Fox Queen. This is my token. Seeing this is like you are seeing me. If someone else uses the same token to find you, you must listen to that person. Otherwise, you are aware of the consequences, right? Yes, mister. Fox Queen politely bowed and put away the token. After Fox Queen left, Hansen thought, the fox have attractive people all over the universe. Their intel is at the best level. If I can get the help of the fox, that means I have eyes all over the place. But this Fox Queen was Ghost Bone General's wife. She must know a lot of secrets about sacred and the god spirits. This time, she is willing to obey me, but perhaps she has more sinister and ulterior motives. I should be careful whenever I have dealings with her. After Fox Queen left, Hansen noticed Sky God Crown's benefit. Fox Queen had the mark of the God of Wealth. Hansen felt wherever she was in the universe. He could control the God of Wealth's mark whenever he wished. If he wanted her to live, she lived. If he wanted her to die, she would die. When Hansen took off the Sky God Crown, he no longer felt anything. Only the 300 lifespans were a part of Hansen's body. My God Spirit seat only comes from the Sky God crown. I am not really a God Spirit. That makes sense. Hansen did not think this was a shame. He never planned on being a God anyway. Having a big boost to his lifespan was already a surprise. In the Extreme King's Little Garden Palace, a xenogeneic mode Hansen walked in. My King was brewing tea as he coldly asked, Dollar, how was your trip? It was successful, Hansen said. I convinced Hansen to join our cooperative efforts, but he has a condition. What condition might that be? Bai King did not raise his head. It seemed as if he knew that was going to happen. We have to give him the treasure that can save Golden Growler, Hansen said. He will be the one who saves Golden Growler. Fine, but I will only give it to him when we are outside the God Temple on that day, Bai King said with a nod. That should be fine. Hansen looked at Bai King's black gem ring. He went on to ask, Mister? Can I look at the ring again? Why? Is there a problem? Bai King asked. He took off the ring and threw it at Han Sr. Hansen accepted the ring. He looked at it and gave it back to Bai King. Do you really use this ring to test the holy body geno fluid? Bai King looked at Hansen and asked, Why would you say that? Hansen looked at Bai King as he said, Believe it or not, I can tell you honestly that I never use the holy body geno fluid. Yet, this ring reacts to me. I'm afraid there might be another reason for that. Can you help me clarify my confusion? Bai King suddenly frowned and asked, Do you think I am lying to you? If you really do not know anything, I am afraid this entire thing was incorrect from the beginning. Hansen sighed and said, It's fine. 
We will find out the truth. I still have things to do. I am going to leave. After that, Hansen flashed away. After he left the Bicema, he used galaxy teleportation to leave. Bai King watched Hansen depart. He spoke to himself with an expression that kept changing. Is there really a problem with this ring? Or, is Dollar involved in some sort of conspiracy? After Hansen returned to Space Garden, he discovered that the house had another Han Senior. The Hansen in the house looked at the Hansen that came in and asked, How is it? Ping. The Hansen that walked in with some smoke. It looked like Bauer. She laughed and said, This ring reacts to me. That is good. Hansen nodded. Although he had guessed this result, he did not feel safe if he had not tested it. Bai King had seen Hansen before, but he did not show anything toward Han Senator when Hansen used his xenogenic battle body to meet with Bai King. Bai King started to act all strange toward him. Hansen guessed that the ring only reacted to Hansen when he was in xenogenic mode. It did not work on normal mode Han Senior. Hansen did not know the xenogenic battle mode Bauer simulated made the ring react, which was why he wanted Bauer to try it out for him. If there was no reaction, Bai King would not give the ring to Bauer. She would then be able to disguise herself as an assassin and do something to Bai King. If Bai King grew suspicious, he would have no proof and could not do anything to Han Sr. He had now proved that the ring only reacted to Xenogenic Battle Body. This enabled Han Sun to guess about a lot more. Xenogenic Battle Body Mode is a result of combining four Geno Arts. The ring reacts to Xenogenic Battle Body Mode. I am afraid it is not a tool to test the Holy Body Geno Fluid. This is weird. I do not know if Bai King is lying to me or if the whole of the Extreme King has been fooled by past kings. But that was none of his business. The time for a meeting had come. Hansen let Bauer skin his xenogenic body, but she did not transform yet. Remember, you go in last. You are also the first to leave. Do not get close to Moment God. You wait here. Come in after I have established the deal with Bai King. Hanston was wearing the blue and black striped robe as he spoke to Bauer. He then went to the god palaces. Bai King and two other people were already waiting there. Mr. Long time no see. Are you okay? Hansen was in front of Bai King. He bowed and looked at the other two people. Hansen thought Bai King would have brought many extreme king's elites with him, but he had only brought two people who did not belong to the extreme king. Chapter 2996 Light Scissors Chapter 2996 Light Scissors One of the creatures had white hair. Its skin was black, and it looked like an old ape. The other one was like a spirit. It glowed with a green color. It was like a green ghost that one could see through. The presence of these two xenogenics was very powerful. They were clearly true god xenogenics. That was undeniable. Thanks for Godfather Han's arrival. I am fine. Why do I not see Dollar? Bai King smiled. It looked as if he did not care about the grudge he had with Hansen in the past. Dollar says he needs more time to prepare, Hansen replied. He is preparing a powerful weapon. He will come later. Bai King nodded and said nothing. He pointed at the two Xenogenics and said, This is Sun Moon God Ape. He is a powerful time element true God Xenogenic. This is Space Spirit. He is a Space Element true God Elite. With their assistance and the power you and Dollar, the two of you elites, have, our operation will surely be a success. You are very thorough. Hansen turned around and asked, I wonder, how will you break the time god power trapping Golden Growler? This is it. Bai King did not talk crap. He brought out the treasure. It was a gold pair of jade scissors. The scissors' blades were metal and black in color. The bottom part was made of jade stone. It was pure white. The two blades were forged to look like a water dragon. They snap together like two dragons playing orbs. This treasure is called Light Scissor. It is made from the time element True God Xenogenic Light Dragon Xenogenic Genes. That is how it was crafted. Our Alpha killed the female and the male, the two light dragons. With lots of rare material and other Xenogenic genes, it cost them tens of dozens of years to forge. That is how the Light Scissors came to be. It is very good against time restrictions and by semes. It should be easy to break Golden Growler's time power. This will be the weapon that kills Moment God. After pausing, Bai King went on to say, I promised you I would let you have the scissors, but the light scissors are only supposed to be used by someone who has a time element power. I will let Sun Moon God ape use of the scissors because he can provide us with the most help. Of course, 
The decision is still yours to make, Godfather Han, Bai King said. I am merely making a suggestion. He passed Hans in the light scissors. Hansen tried using his own power. He found that he was unable to activate the light scissors. He needed a time element power to use the top class true god weapon. Hansen thought, what a good fox. He knew I did not have time element powers, but he did not say only sun moon god ape could actually use the light scissors. He is saying it is pointless for me to use it and only he can use it. He coldly laughed. But you have the wrong intentions. I am not very good at time element powers, but I researched it. Bai King watched Hans and being unable to activate the light scissors and smiled. The sun moon god ape looked quite cocky. He thought Hansen would allow him to be the one who used the light scissors. As Hansen held the light scissors and looked at sun moon god ape, when sun moon god ape thought Hansen was going to give him the light scissors, Hansen's body exhibited some changes. The light scissors released the sound of two dragons moaning. A black and white light was shining brightly. It turned into a pair of black and white dragons that circled Han Sr. Sun Moon God Ape's face changed. Bai King was shocked too, but his face quickly returned to normal. He laughed. Godfather Han really is very unique. You have mastered time element powers. Just a little bit, but it was enough to use the scissors, Hansen coldly said. He put away the light scissors. The light scissors were very strong, but they also cost a lot of power. Hansen had just used them for a moment, and he already felt tired. Sun Moon God Ape thought he would be the one to use the light scissors, but now there was no chance. He felt depressed. He was buzzing as he asked, Why is that dollar not here yet? Is he afraid of killing Moment God? Did he not dare come? Hansen looked at Bai King. He laughed and did not ask anything. It was unknown what he was thinking in his heart. Hansen thought, Although Bai King does not know Hansen and Dollar are the same people, Thinking he won't suspect our relationship, perhaps he will think of something. This cooperative effort might be to test us. Fortunately, Bauer can make use of the sunglasses. Otherwise, Bao King is sure to think of something. At this time, the few people saw Bauer, in the shape of Dollar, come flying over. I am sorry to keep you waiting, Bauer said. She was learning how Hansen spoke. It is good that you are here, Bai King said with a laugh. Since everyone is here, Let's just get into the temple in case something bad happens. Hansen summoned the shield of the Medusa's gaze. He held the light scissors in the shield as he used time area. Good. Bai King nodded. No one had an opinion to share. Everyone just summoned their true god weapons and god personality armaments. Bauer turned on her evil lotus by Sima and Skybone armor. Her body shone with a purple light. It displayed a knife light that was like a saw. It covered her entire body. Bai King summoned his god spirit's spirit body. Sun Moon God Ape and Space Spirit had their weird faces. Clearly, they had powerful power protection. Everyone used their powers before they approached the god temple because they were afraid that when they faced Moment God, they would not have the chance to bring out their gear. After preparing, everyone entered the god palaces. Once they entered the realm of the god palaces, many creatures of the universe turned their attention to them. Huh? Isn't that dollar? He is going to the god temple to kill a god spirit again. Why is Bai King with Dollar? Whoa. Godfather Hanson is there too. Last time, moment god blew him up. He has dared to come back. Those two Xenogeneics are not normal. It is such a powerful team. Which god spirit are they going to challenge? It must be a disaster class one. What disaster class? Dollar was able to kill a disaster class god spirit by himself. Who needs Bai King and Godfather Han? those elites, all to fight together. I am afraid the god spirit they are going to kill is an Annihilation Class 1. Many scary elites in the universe were looking at Han Sen, and the others make their approach. In a palace on a red dwarf planet, the woman who was wearing a red chi pao and using a red umbrella was looking at the sky. She gently said, Master, Han Sen is going to challenge Moment God again. Should we go and do what Han Jinji told us to do? Do you think we should follow what he told us to do? Human King sat on the throne. He looked as if he was smiling, but he wasn't smiling. He watched Hansen and the others enter the grounds of the god palaces. The red-clothed woman was beneath her umbrella as she coldly said, Although Han Jinji does not have an heir, Han Jinji did not have to do this. Hansen is his great-grandson, so they will have a connection. Perhaps he is using us to help Hansen break through the line. Chapter 2997 Fighting Moment God Again
Han Sen had just entered the Moment God Temple. He immediately used Galaxy Teleportation. He suddenly was in front of Golden Growler, who had been trapped by the Time God Light. He was waving the light scissors toward Golden Growler. BZ's T. There was an invisible shockwave. It came from the center of the God Temple. One easily saw it with their eyes. It suddenly flushed out like a wave, and it made time pass slowly. The power of the light scissors was not affected. One black and one white dragon, the two of them, crossed each other and headed for Golden Growler. They cut the twisted space that trapped him as easily as a sheet of white paper. The power seemed like it was breaking bamboo as it went toward Golden Growler. Dong. Seeing the light scissors about to cut open the god power trap that was around Golden Growler, everyone suddenly felt dizzy. They could not see what happened. Moment God was already standing before Golden Growler. She flicked her long jade finger. It landed on the dragon head of the light scissors. It knocked the light scissors away. Sun Moon God Ape. By King had the three-headed, six-armed spirit for protection. Although he was affected a little, it was not by much. It was forced to break the time delay power. He was swinging six weapons toward Moment God. Sun Moon God Ape wasn't about to slow down. He was holding a sun and a moon. The sun and moon were twisted. It made the time go fast. It extinguished some of the delays caused by the time god power. It made it so that Han Sin and the others were not affected by it too much. The space spirit was not affected by the time delay at all. Its transparent hands were striking toward Moment God. The space crack was spreading. Moment God did not move while everyone was attacking. She went with God Light and pointed her finger. It was like time was rewinding. The movements of Han Sin and the others seemed to go backward. Moment God's body flashed. She teleported to Han Sin, who was closest to her. Although the light scissors were not affected by time rewind, Han Sin had been affected by it. He started falling back. He was not able to raise the light scissors to block Moment God's attack. Every creature in the universe was frozen. Han Sin, Bai King, and the others were the greatest elites in the entire universe. Before Moment Goddess, they were useless. Boom. Suddenly, there was a thundering hitting noise coming from the God Temple. Dollar was holding a mini, black, small hammer. It hit toward the space around the others. Suddenly, many space cracks developed in the God Temple. It made the blood rise in Hansen, by King, Sun Moon God Ape, and Space Spirit. What shocked them most was that the rewind time power was no longer working. Moment God's mouth was bleeding God blood. Holy SH asterisk T. Dollar is so strong. He used a hammer to damage Moment God. Everyone was shocked. Hansen had not expected the Kill Sky Hammer to be that strong. It broke time and space. Even the Rewind Time God power was not excluded from its might. Ping. 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 Bawa swung her hammer at space three more times. The God symbols on the hammer were vibrating. The whole of the God Temple was like broken glass. There were more and more space cracks. Dollar. Big God. Put away your God stuff. Sun Moon God Ape was crying. Those three hammer strikes had not killed Moment God, but they were going to kill his God body. He had a few broken bones. Eleven of his organs were torn and bleeding. Only God knew how much blood he was spilling out. This wasn't only happening to Sun Moon God Ape. Space Spirit was not faring very well either. Bai King and Hansen were a bit better, but they were still shockingly pale from the blood gushing out of their mouths. Moment God's face was a bit pale but she still looked better than Han Senator she was staring at Bauer. She flashed away and appeared in front of Bauer. She pointed toward Bauer. Bauer swung her hammer. She saw the hammer light and twisted powers collide. They arose like the lights that happen when a sun is destroyed. Moment God was shaken away a few miles through space. Bauer flew away too. That hit provided no one with an advantage. Han Sen was worried about Bauer having a disadvantage. Seeing a situation like this, he was incredibly delighted. He did not hesitate. He used the light scissors to cut toward Golden Growler's body. One black and one white, the two dragons, crossed each other. They went straight for Golden Growler. They surrounded his body, cutting the Time God power like it was cutting a cloth. Don't worry, Dollar. I'm going to come to help you. By King's spirit body, God Light exploded. He was waving six weapons at Moment God. As for Sun Moon God Ape and Space Spirit, one had a time power buff and one had a space power buff. By King forced open Moment God's time area. Moment Light. 
moment goddess's eyes looked cold. She put her hands together like a goddess. Time waves and god light filled the god temple. It was just for a moment, but by King and Hansen suddenly felt their bodies age. It was like a thousand years had passed. Hansen shockingly found out his lifespan had decreased by a few hundred years, and it was still fading fast. Ping. There was another clap of thunder. The moment light power was broken, Hansen's lifespan stopped leaking. One had a hard time watching this. No one knew if it was Bauer's hammer breaking the moment light got power. The shaking power shook Hansen and the others like their bodies were broken. They were lucky they had not been torn apart. By King and Sun Moon God Ape looked strange. They were very happy to be saved by Dollar, but they also felt depressed. Their lives had been saved. After a few more hammer hits, even if they were not killed by Moment God, they were not going to be killed by Dollar. Roar. As this happened, the Light Scissors finally removed the restrictions around Golden Growler, who had been trapped a long time ago. Golden Growler was finally free. It roared to the sky with a beastly voice. It shocked the sky full of everything. Golden Growler had been trapped, but he had not been lost. He had seen everything that happened in the God Temple space. After he roared, the gold light in his mouth exploded. A mysterious, old, golden door was fired out. Moment God saw Golden Growler release the golden door and frowned. The tips of her feet were in space. Some weird time shockwave spread out. Golden Growler's movements were slowed down, but the golden door could still fly out. By King rushed toward Moment God and shouted at Sun Moon God Ape and Space Spirit, hurry up and help him open the door. Sun Moon God Ape and Space Spirit were soaked in blood. They used their time and space powers to buff Golden Growler. It made the golden door come out faster. They looked at Bauer, who was swinging the hammer. Sun Moon God Ape was about to pee himself. He shouted, Dollar God, stop swinging. Swing again, and we are going to die. The wounds they had were not caused by Moment God. It was all because of Bauer. Chapter 29 $98 Big God Hansen knew the Kill Sky Hammer's radius of attack was scary, but there was nothing he could do about it. That thing was very powerful, but no one was able to control the radius of that power. Luckily, the closer to the center of the shaking point someone was, the more shaking power there was. They were quite far away, so the shaking power they felt was quite weak. If it was like Moment God's power. When facing the Kill Sky Hammer face to face, one of those attacks would have probably nearly killed Sun Moon God Ape. Moment God saw where the Kill Sky Hammer came from. She knew that the power of the hammer could break every other power. She ignored Bauer. She flashed above Golden Growler, put her hands together really fast, and made a weird symbol. It was heading for Golden Growler. There was a wave headed for Golden Growler, so it opened its mouth. The gold door only exited its mouth halfway. The door was frozen there. All of that happened in just one moment. At the same time, Golden Growler stopped moving. Moment God flashed away. She dodged by King's knife sword, which was crazily slashing. She appeared in front of Hans' senator. She carried the time light. Her hand was reaching out for Hans' sin's light scissors. Hansen knew Moment Goddess was afraid of the golden door that came out of Golden Growler's mouth. Even if her power could not kill Golden Growler, it could trap it. If she could kill him, she would have done it already. Moment God moved to take the light scissors away so that Golden Growler could not be set free again. An Annihilation Class God Spirit is hard to deal with. I wonder how scary a Reboot Class God Spirit is. Hansen used the time area. The time element did not have much of an effect on Moment God. Instead, Hansen was affected by Moment God's Time God Power effect. His movement was very slow. He could not dodge her and prevent her from stealing the scissors. Bauer's body flashed. She was suddenly above Hansen's head. The hammer was striking toward Moment God's hands. No. Moment God had no reaction. Hansen, by King, Sun Moon God Ape, and Space Spirit screamed. Their faces looked black. Earlier, Bauer had waved her hammer a few times, which almost shook them to death. Their bones almost cracked. Now, it was about to come down near their bodies. It was going to kill them. Unfortunately, it was too late for anything. The hammer in Bauer's hand had already hit Moment God's hand. Hansen knew this was going to be bad. He flashed backward and raised the shield of the Medusa's gaze to try and protect his body. By King used his spirit body to raise a shield and protect himself as he quickly retreated. 
Sun Moon God Ape and Space Spirit were running away as fast as they could. Their foreheads were dripping with cold sweat. Boom. Arg. Hansen and the others screamed. It was like a television show in which they were blown away. The four of them blew up, flew, and rolled away. All the god blood spilling out was like it was for free. Hansen and Bai King were faring a little better. Only their bones and organs were ripped. Sun Moon God Ape and Space Spirit only had half their lives left. That was especially true of Sun Moon God Ape. His limbs were soft, and he was twisted like a pretzel. He was going to be disabled. Big God, please stop shaking me. Cough. Cough. Moment God still hasn't touched me. Cough. Cough. I'm going to be killed by you. Sun Moon God Ape was speaking and throwing up blood at the same time. He was going to cry. Shut the hell up. You're only a little bit hurt, yet you were crying. Are you a three-year-old child? Bauer lifted her lips. She then lifted her finger, enabling a giant lotus light to come out of it. The petals had a holy light. The body of Sun Moon God Ape was covered in that holy light. The wounds were healing fast. It was at an unbelievable speed. The lotus light was the true god beast soul Hansen had claimed from the light well lotus. It had a powerful healing by Sima. Hansen had given it to Bauer. If Bauer was in danger, she could use the lotus to save her life. Suddenly, Sun Moon God Ape and others saw their severe wounds healing. Sun Moon God Ape was very happy and said, Dollar Big God, you really can do everything. Stop talking crap. Give me your time and space power. Bauer shouted. She was holding her little hammer and going toward Moment God. Sun Moon God Ape and Space Spirit were busy gathering their powers. They buffed Bauer so that she could catch up with Moment God. Boom. The power of the Kill Sky Hammer struck Moment God's Time God power again. Bauer used her Kill Sky Hammer to fight Moment God face to face and not lose. It was bad for Sun Moon God Ape. Although there was the Light Well Lotus healing by Sima for protection, the by Sima could only heal. It could not block the damage. Sun Moon God Ape was being shaken again. Everyone was spitting out blood and healing. Their bones broke and healed and healed and broke. Their organs ripped and healed and healed and ripped. It was like they were suffering absolute torture. It felt absolutely awful. Dollar Big God really is the strongest in the universe. He can fight Moment God without losing. Dollar Big God is so overbearing and strong. Go and kill Moment God and bring the creatures of the universe some dignity. Dollar Big God is invincible. The creatures from every race started to speak like Sun Moon God Ape. They added the two words after every mention of Dollar's name. No one thought it was an unworthy title. Most of the creatures in the universe thought Dollar was the big universe's first strongest elite. The other true gods were too weak before Dollar. Calling him a big god was to separate him from other elites. Interesting. Human King squinted his eyes. He watched Bauer battle moment God. His eyes looked weird for a second. The red-clothed woman stood behind him and said, I think this dollar has an even higher chance of breaking that level. Yet Han Jinji wants us to assist Han Senator. Are you sure he is not just showing bias? Human King laughed and said, Dollar is strong, but he is depending on his god personality armament. He has the evil lotus by Sima and Sky Bone Knife armor too. That hammer, if I am not mistaken, is Kill Sky God's god personality armament. I bet Kill Sky God descended to kill him, and he killed him. That is how he got that Annihilation class god personality armament. Kill Sky God possessed someone and descended, the red clothed woman asked. It would have been so much weaker. Even so, killing Kill Sky God would have been an almighty task. He did not have the Kill Sky hammer at the time. Human King nodded and said, This kid is very rare. I do not know who created this monster. His genes are complex. They are more complex than a creature from the sanctuaries. While everyone was talking, Hansen approached Golden Growler with his light scissors. He knew Bauer did not have much time. He had to finish the fight to save Golden Growler. In that massive fight, Bauer might not have been able to last an hour before she spent all her power. Chapter 2999 Moments End Bauer kept swinging and swinging. There were crazy, mad explosions going on. Scary powers exploded, wave by wave. Because the destructive power would damage everybody, Moment God had to be fast. She was still able to go through it. Even if a moment was forever, the Kill Sky Hammer's power was able to break it. Time Rewind only rewound a short portion of time. 
it was impossible to block the hammer's explosive powers. Seeing that the light scissors in Han Sin's hands were going to break Golden Growler's time trap for a second time, one easily saw the moment God frowned. Kill Sky God really was not enough to be a success or loser, moment God coldly said. She raised her jade hand and pulled out a strand of hair. Her hair, which had been tied up, fell down like a waterfall. It reached her ankles. Her hair looked weird. It almost looked like it was made of crystal. The strands looked like needles. She put the hair between her fingers. Moment God looked calm. She looked serious as she raised it toward her face. Ten thousand skills are strong. Time is king. Forever after, there is no end, but it is like a bird flying through a gap. It could occur in a second. One second can be forever, and it could be a second. A second is nothing, so accept my anger. Moments end. When Moment God spoke with her God voice, which was frigid with her cold emotions, it was like there was a giant shadow of a clock in front of her. The clock shadow did not have needles that told time. Moment God's jade hands touched the hair. She put the hair in the shadow clock's plate. It combined with the shadow clock. Beezy's T. A weird movement was released from the shadow clock. The clock, which did not exist, turned solid. It seemed ancient. It was like a very old god temple or church time clock. But the clock's plate only had one needle. There was no hour, minute, or second needle. Katcha. The needle pointing at twelve suddenly jumped one block. It was now pointed at the one. When the clock finished jumping, the time in the god temple instantly seemed to exhibit a weird change. No one was not able to see what sort of power it was, so no one could block it. Hansen slid out his light scissors. The blades turned into one white and one black light dragon. They ripped Golden Growler's time restriction power. Golden Growler escaped again. It opened its mouth and spit out the golden door. Sun Moon God Ape and Space Spirit were shaken. Blood was spilling from their mouths. They also had to buff Bower with their time power and space powers. Their faces were twisted. Bai King looked very happy. He looked at Golden Growler and wished to say something. Suddenly, everything started again. Han Sen's hands and the light scissors went toward Golden Growler again. Sun Moon got ape and Space Spirit coughed up more blood again. Bai King smiled again. Bower threw down her hammer again. The whole of space was shaking. It happened again and again. It was like a short video that opened on a brainless cycle. Everyone was repeating their actions from that one moment again and again. In that infinite cycle, even Moment God was stuck like that too. She followed the infinite cycle to repeat her actions again and again. Upon seeing that, all the creatures were frozen. The legends claim that a god spirit in their temple possesses special god skills, Sky Palace leader said with his eyes on fire. It looks like Moment God's special god skill is that moment's end. It can make time circle infinitely. Special God skills are very powerful. He kept watching the Moment God Temple, which kept looping its time. Sky Palace's first seat frowned and said, Moment's End can only make time keep repeating itself for a period, but it does not do anything good for her. She is trapped in that time loop too. She is in a deadlock now as well. Special God skills. Unless Moment God Temple escaped the God Palace's control, that power will be affected by the God Palace's rule. Even she will be unable to control it. That is not strange. Moment God is afraid that Gold Growler's golden door will open. She would not use Moment's End unless she was in fear. This is interesting. What is behind the golden door that even an Annihilation class God Spirit is so scared of it? Sky Palace leader looked at the Golden Growler with interest. Golden Growler kept cycling with time, over and over again. The golden door went out a little, and then it went back in a little. It went out a little, and then it went back in a little. It was not able to really open it. Sky Palace's first seat said, No matter what this is, it is futile now. Moment God Temple has become a dead place. Whatever enters it will end up in the time cycle. Those guys are done for. He paused for a moment, and then went on to say, But that is good. Hansen was chosen by Sacred Leader, and he has the Holy Kieran's Holy Spirit. Perhaps he will one day stir up trouble. That dollar is even weirder, and Bai King is always suspicious. If they had not been trapped here, them causing problems was inevitable. So, this has sorted out many problems for us. It can scare the guys who are hiding. They will not dare to do anything. We just need the space barrier to heal. The god palaces will eventually fade into the nether. Everything else will return to normal again. 
Sky Palace leader shook his head and said, I'm afraid things are not that simple. Those old antiques are full of conspiracies, and they have had them for God knows how many years. It was not easy for them to have this opportunity, why would they let this go? Hansen being trapped is just the beginning. They are merely waiting. They are waiting for other people to strike first so they do not have to help others. No matter what, someone will be impatient and do it first. So, what if they do? Sky Palace's first seat asked. Who else can be like sacred leader and kill God's spirits like killing dogs? Who else can go to the Geno Hall? Sky Palace leader wished to say something, but somebody flashed in space. Some creature walked into the infinite cycle of moment God Temple space. Sky Palace leader and the audience were shocked. They wondered who dared go to the moment God Temple area. They all looked over there. Ma. A woman was wearing a red chi pao and red high heels. Her hands were holding a red paper umbrella. She walked forward. When she walked, her very long and white legs were displayed. Her curves were perfect. She was like a drawing. That woman was not the main point. The paper umbrella in her hands was not for her. She was like a servant. She held it for the man in front of her. She did so carefully. It was as if she did not want the man to get a sunburn. The man and woman walked into Moment God Temple Space area. The red paper umbrella covered the 10,000 lights. No one was to see what the man and woman looked like. It made their bodies appear like walking shadows. They walked into the space cycle but did not get restrained by the time cycle. Can't hold it and strike, huh? What are they going to Moment God Temple for? Are there people inside there? Sky Palace leader frowned. Chapter 3000 Blue Blood Appears While everyone was watching, a man and a woman approached Hansen, who was still repeating his actions with the light scissors. He was unable to get out of it. He had no other choice. Who are these two guys? Although Hansen was stuck in a loop, his mind was not caught in the cycle. He was still lucid and aware. He felt weird as he watched the man and a woman walk in front of him. Because the red umbrella's light fell, he was not able to see who the man and women beneath the umbrella were. Hansen wanted to know the answer, and every other creature in the universe wanted to know the answer too. In Space Garden, Wang Yuhang spoke with worry. He said, these two guys can bypass the restrictions of moments and power. Are Hansen and the others going to be okay? If those two are going there, they must be enemies, Wang Fu Jing said with a frown. Han Sen and the others will undoubtedly be in danger. Go save him. Xie Qin King stood up. His eyes were on fire as he spoke. Don't do it, Moment Queen said as she coldly leaned against the doorframe. It is pointless for you to go. You will just fall into the time loop created by Moment's end. You cannot help. So, what? Xie Qin King asked. Are we not going to even try? Are we just going to sit here and watch them all die? Brother Xie. Do not be in such a rush, Zero said. Moment Queen is right. If we go now, it is useless. It will only lead to the death of more of us. This won't work, and that won't work, Wang Yuhang said with a look of annoyance. We can only watch Sanmu die. Moment Queen coldly said, there is no need to be in a rush. Hansen and the others won't die easily. In moment's end, time will remain in a fixed loop. Even if the man and woman seek to kill them, after killing them, the time loop will only result in them being revived. To kill them permanently, they must break Moment's End. If Moment's End breaks, Hansen and Dollar can fight back. If they cannot fight, they can at least run. How could I forget all that? Wang Yuhang was very happy. They all were and felt a major relief. If they cannot kill Hansen, what is the point of them going there? Qin Xian quietly asked. No one was able to answer that question. They could only look into Moment God Temple and see the man and the woman's movements. The red-clothed woman stood behind the man while holding an umbrella. The man was standing in front of Hansen, and he was inspecting him thoroughly. He watched him keep repeating the movement of releasing the power of the light scissors. After a while, the man reached out his hand. It landed on Hansen's head. The hand was wrapped in a red mist. One was able to vaguely see the semblance of a face. The man's ten fingers were very long. They appeared powerful. It gave people a strange feeling. What does he want to do? Sky Palace leader frowned and looked at the man's hands. He could not guess what that man wanted to do. He is not going to one palm slap Hansen to death, is he? What if he does slap him to death? In the middle of moment's end, Hansen can keep reviving. Sky Palace's first seat was confused. 
In fact, in the universe, every scary elite was watching this scene with a look of profound confusion. Only in a house perched upon an old mountain, where an old man was holding a bottle gourd of wine, was there a difference. He watched the man's hand. As he did, his eyes flashed as he exclaimed, Finally, he is making the first step. When the old fortune teller spoke to himself, the man's other hand flashed with a cold light. He cut the hand that was on top of Hans Sr. Every elite was shocked. They watched his injured hand with bated breath. They were unsure what the man planned to do. Beautiful blue blood oozed out of the wound. It was crystal-like and glowing. It was as weird as it was beautiful to see. When he saw the blood, Hansen was shocked. He thought, what is going on? This blue blood and blood legion blue blood has the same power, but this is much more powerful than the blue blood I saw before. Who is he? Human king? What is he doing here? Why is he doing this? Hansen's mind was riddled with questions, but no one was able to answer him. Besides, he could not ask because he was still stuck in a time loop. Aside from repeating his actions, he was unable to do anything. Holy blood! When Sky Palace leader and Sky Palace's first seat saw the blue blood, their expressions changed. Just like them, the expressions of many old antiques across the entire universe were changed. They all looked as if they had seen a ghost. One drop of crystal-looking blue blood was allowed to drip onto Hans Sen's head. Where the blood dripped, his black hair and white scalp turned blue. The man's hand was resting on Hans Sen's head. He allowed the wound on his hand to drip blood, one drop after one drop, onto Hans Sen's head. Moments End was able to make this keep repeating. After repeating, Hans Sen's head, which was dyed blue, was still blue. It did not get wiped out by the time cycle. More blue blood being released. It flowed through Hans Sen's hair and down his face. His entire head, face, and neck had turned blue. The blood was now seeping into his clothes. It was like it was going to dye his entire body blue. This guy. What does he want? I am not a blue fairy. Why dye my body blue? Hansen had countless thoughts, but he could not figure out what the man wanted from him. All the elites of every race were frozen as they watched this happen. No one was able to understand why this man had suddenly appeared. No one knew what he wanted. Boom. 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 From the highest floor of the God Palace in the Geno Hall, noise that was like thunder sounded. The Geno Hall's door slowly opened. The Geno Hall's door completely opened. The light inside was bright. It was too bright to see what was in there. One was only able to see a body was there. It was standing inside. Because the light was so bright, it was impossible to see what the body looked like. Whoever it was, they had the presence of a god or a demon. The suppressing pressure unleashed by that presence was felt everywhere in the universe. It was difficult for anyone to breathe. It felt as if everyone had to count out before it. Are you really going to do it? The body standing at the door was looking at the man on Moment God Temple's Plaza. You can try and stop me, the man coldly said. His hand was still atop Han Sen's head, allowing his blue blood to keep dripping all over Han Sr. How dare you? The god spirits were mad. All the god temples burst open with god light. Countless scary god powers flew out. It was like many god spirits were going to kill the man beneath the red umbrella. If I did not dare, how did I kill a sky full of god spirits? The man's voice was calm like undisturbed water. When he spoke, the many god spirits were furious. All the god lights of every god temple exploded like a volcanic eruption. The sky full of god spirits were breaking out of their temples. The creatures of the universe felt a massive chill as they watched all of this unfold. Even though the suppressive feelings of the god spirits weren't coming after them, it made them feel shocked and have a desire to flee. The man behaved as if he did not even see the fires wielded by the god spirits. He still stood where he was. He let his blue blood keep dribbling onto Hans Sr. 